Hello. Hello. Ha. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Now I have my my coffee in hand. That that is appropriate. It's appropriate. All right. I'm gonna start the. <clears throat> we're gonna start the stream. We're gonna start some Steam World uh, quest. I'm kind of hoping to finish it today. So it might be an extra long uh, run. We'll see. Hello. Hello, uh, Kevbo. Hello, Mi Mimesis. Hello, or sorry, Mimesis. Hello, I'm a 10. Hello, Neville. Who am I missing? Andrino, hello. Um, did I miss someone? Looking up. Oh, Ben. Hello. Wow, you guys were early. Diamond Thorn was in there too. <laughs> All the way at the beginning. How long ago? How early do y'all join the stream before I start streaming? I guess that's a uh, that's an option. Oh, is the the chat's not updated? Hold on a second. Do 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 do. Updating chat. There it is. Now it is updated. Now I will go to an, uh, a daily reminder. Switch your chat from top chat to live chat. I'm hoping uh, to hoping to finish Hand of Gilgamesh today. Bimple an hour later. Anyway, that's what I think of today's current political climate. It's true that the first segment is often the spiciest segment, um, but that doesn't mean I don't get stuff done. I get stuff done. I just uh, you know, we also you know talk about <laughs> heated heated topics like Pokemon. Pokemon, the most heated topic. I think possibly the most caustic topic one can speak of. Do not mention the dreaded P word. I joined at 12.30 a.m. Jeebus. We're going to finish this today. We're going to finish this card game so we can move on to another card game. It'll be good. Um, how, how is everyone doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna move on, honestly. Bimple's still salty about Pokemon. I'm not salty. Is there an ounce of salt in my voice? Maybe a pinch. Enough to throw over one's shoulder, you know? Oh man, that's not a happy tree. A Bob Ross would not paint that tree is what I'm saying. Calm tree. Nice tree. Now that I've sent those snoops to pick a fight with the ringmaster, I can buy back their parts and feed them to you. That should keep you calm enough for me to tap even more of that sweet, sweet moon juice. The, the, the plot thickens. This abomination is most definitely caused by the powers of the Necronomicog. It's way too hot to be productive right now. I relish the thought of lazing early via our weekly stream. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I should join early as well and just hang out and chat before Bimple uh, starts the stream. Is that a tree robot or... Um, it's a, you know, a little bit of column all of the above, you know? You again, but how did you... Game's up. We're here to stop your macabre little chemistry shop uh yeah we know you have the necronomicog and he actually told you ah and shh not so loud you're disturbing the tree i have just given it a bedtime snack oh bob i always knew you were slippery but hello you can't just walk around feeding evil trees with your own customer base so what it's the circle of life now get away from here or you'll turn my life's work into ruins Shut your face. You've been hoodwink. You've you've been hoodwinking people long enough. I'll cut down both you and that bloated tree of yours. Don't touch the tree. It needs its beauty sleep to produce the juice. And it really doesn't like any talk about cutting. Shra. Now you've done it. You've angered it. Shriek. Calm down, my dear. I've got a fresh batch of parts for you down in the catacombs. I'll just have to cut them up a bit first and- Oh no, arg! Arg! Oh god, no, he's dead! Oh, jeez. Poetic justice in its most macabre form. 
Timber. Uh, it's the same kind of robot as Bender in the Futurama episode where he downgrades himself. That's pretty good. I remember that episode. That's one of my favorites. Alright, we're, first we're gonna poison this lad. Then we're gonna axe chop him. And then we're gonna doom him. Why not? It seems like a good call. In Brazil, it's cold today. Today, it is not so bad in Toronto. The heat is, uh, a, you know, it's abating. Is that the right word? It's it's cooling. It's it's calming its uh, proverbial tits. You know, like it's it's not so bad. So that's nice. That is a uh, a, a small mercy. Honestly, um. This, here's where things get <laughs> spicy again. Speaking of political climate, there's nothing more political than the climate. Um, I, I actually am a little bit frustrated about um, the optics in Toronto when it comes to the climate because Toronto specifically, we've been having like ridiculously good weather, like better weather than ever that I've ever like, you know, experienced in my lifetime. Like it's just really nice weather. Um, it's been cool in the summer. It hasn't been too cold in the winter. It's been, it, you know, that we have, like, our, our summer goes as follows. Um, it, it goes like this. Spring, uh, sorry, no. Winter lasts, like, six months. We get about one day of spring. And then it's blisteringly nasty, heated just the worst, absolute worst summer you can imagine. And I know, like, a lot of chat um, being across the board, uh, you know, all of, I'm not going to tell you what how hot it gets, because some some hot key, gatekeeper in chat is going to be like, Yo, that's not very hot. It's That's like a summer's breeze for us. That's like, it's fine. It, it's fine. Don't even worry. You're, you're just whining. Yeah, you're right. I am whining. But like, uh, also, it just it's just really uncomfortably hot in the summertime. We get like one day where it's like warm, but there's also a nice a nice cool breeze, and it's not too you know it's not too bad. It's fine. It's it's nice out. That's, but like every other day, it's like either really really nasty cold. And yes, Canadians will complain about the cold. I don't care how many memes you see where with someone wearing a plaid shirt. Is like, oh, I'm gonna go out with the shirt on. The hell you are. And that does, that is not a realistic depiction of Canadians. Canadians know how to bundle up. If there's like a stiff breeze, you'll see a Canadian outside with like a jacket, three layers. Um, this idea or notion that we're like, oh yeah, 30 below Celsius or whatever, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, however way you want to. Uh, me to say your your cold temperature it yeah no we're gonna go out with just just underwear on nah nah dog you ain't that is incorrect um can i do i have to i guess i have to uh do that okay well we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this um Really loved the ball snoring game Bimple showed in his li latest video. Ball snoring game. Oh, are you talking about um, moon, moon ball, moon pong, moon pong, moon pong is amazing. I kind of want to play some moon pong today, honestly. Like for real, moon pong is is so good. Uh, this is this is annoying. They 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 cast a spell on my character, and now I have to use them. Hero disabled. Not only do they cast, do they do their thing, but I can't even like do other stuff with them to try and combo. That's a bummer. All right, well we'll do this. Um, the eco fighter fighting. Oh, so let me finish my thought on the optics of weather in Toronto. Sorry, I, I got really hung up on a lot of other things. Because the weather has been so nice in Toronto, 
it's hard to get Canadians or at least Torontonians worked up about climate change because it's good for them right now. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, no, but we're fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. But like, you know, uh, you know, we could we could do better. Like Canada is not not really great in terms of how we're handling climate change. I know this uh, probably again, I, I, I've ruined the first segment by even mentioning the, the C word. No, not that C word, the other one, climate change, the double C word. Load shedding time. Thankfully, I had my phone charged. Toronto is the opposite of Detroit or something like that, right? Uh, there's a lot of ways I could interpret that. And a lot of them are very much um, like punching down on Detroit. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to do that. But yes, <laughs> kind of. I don't know. I don't know much about Detroit. I know that they used to make cars. Now they don't anymore, I think. Or maybe they do now. I don't know. My my knowledge is very limited of Detroit. Um I feel your pain, Bimple. It's not a summer breeze for Canadians because of our humidity, specifically in BC where I live. Well, BC, see, now the, the thing is is BC is actually experiencing some pretty nasty weather like uh, v bc vancouver they they got hit by floods um newfoundland is on fire right now uh, not to bring down the mood but for real it's you know east and west coast are both on fire toronto somehow in the eye of the storm everything is peachy green and 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 lovely so torontonians are like yeah it's fine don't worry about it they can handle themselves. The weather's not that bad. Look how nice it is. And also, my, my flowers are blooming. It's like, <laughs> I hate you. Dog. <laughs> you played Neoscav. You know Detroit pretty well. Oh, God. Okay, well, that sounds like a put-down, but as I understand it, that's because uh, Neoscav takes place in Detroit. Yes? I'm sorry I stopped playing Neo Scavenger. Um, I meant to do more of it. That's the end of that thought. All bark and no bite. And now the Necronomicog waits us down this hole. Only one way to find out. Big, why did you have a breakdown on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> it's pitch dark. Feels like gazing into black onyx. Guys, I feel something really slimy and disgusting over here. Uh, oh, oh, that looks like defin de de definitively the thing. So this is it, the, necro the legendary Necronomicog. To imagine that this artifact is the root of so much suffering. I thought it would be more heart-shaped. Indeed, it is a heart, but the heart of a monster. Created by the goddess of deceit from the bodies of distinguished alchemists and outstanding warriors. Melted together to forever drive the pulse of the behemoth. That version was not in the hero's handbook. So much pain and suffering bore into this world. This is where he betrays them. He's going to take it. He's going to become the ultimate warrior. No wonder its energies were so utterly corrupted and destructive. He hasn't said anything bad about it yet, have you noticed that? He's just describing it. Hey, what's going on? It's starting to glow. Remarkable. I don't trust Orc. Our heroes grabbed the ancient artifact. Oopsie! What? And returned with the prize to the light above. Oh, he grabbed it. Or she grabbed it. It looked like it disappeared there. You're surrounded. Stay where you are. Oh, scrap. It's the Void Army. Without hesitation, our heroes assessed the situation and prepared to... I think we'd better stay calm. I just saw Big's coffee heating video. 
Yes, you did. Weather has been crazy. We went from floods to forest fires. Last few years have been rough. I'm going to give him seven dollars just so I can say seven dollars later. A negative seven dollars. <laughs> no! No, my seven dollar coffee! Frosted, but also slightly warm. Mmm. <laughs> Big. <laughs> no, I did not. I showed you how to microwave an iced coffee. Don't be over dramatic. The Dark Lord approaches. Make way! All hail the Dark Lord! Well, well, what do we have here? <gasps> Yo, new playable character? Yo! I bet he's got a really cool moveset. A curious company of fortune seekers, doubtlessly led by their misguided beliefs, and you. Hello, old friend. What? Is this Gilgamesh? Looks like you've done my work for me. Come a thousand years, I ne would never imagine you standing before me so doughty with the Necronomicog already activated. But here I am. Here you are. Here we stand. In a dream of silence, a comforting night. The grinding gears of endless time halt to catch their breath. That verse, it's your Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. Yeah, there it is. What? At least someone remembers who saved the world from total annihilation. The hand of Gilgamesh is Auric. I'm calling it now. He is the hand that that is bound and bi does the bidding. But it's still not enough, Auric. But this group is proof that I was right. The true heroism has never completely gone. Oh, I might be completely off on this, actually. They awoke the Necronomicog from its slumber. It reacted to their acts and qualities. I thought I made myself clear when I put you in that cage. I'm fed up with your foolish reasoning. Your group is nothing more than an exception. I have to admit, I got a bit worried when you beat my rare bird alchemist. She promised me that if I gathered enough of these worthless guild heroes, she'd be able to awaken the Necronomicog for me. If she could do it without true heroes, then your little band proves nothing. But at least you've spared me the trouble of finding a new alchemist master. The deeds of this group proves everything. Small sparks of heroism can grow into great change. Who was the f furry again? That was Auric. Changing the world craves a real and potent act of true heroism. A beacon to break through the darkness, not some small spark. The corrupt state of society cannot be disputed. Just look at how easily I could gather this evil army. He's talking about us. Hooray for the Dark Lord. Bah. These will weak-willed puppets that cling to me just underline the dim dimness through which we must wade. Only I can put things right, just like I did before. You stood by my side then, Auric. Now give me the Necronomicog, and let us reshape the world together. Big thought Auric was evil just because the dude's a furry. No, I thought he was evil because he was in a cage, and he did not enlighten us at all as to how he got in that cage. But n now we understand why. I know you are sad because you feel people have forgotten all about your heroics, but this is not about you. Do not have time for this meaningless jabber. I am the beacon. And since you won't willingly hand over the Necronomicog, old friend, you force my hand. Bah. Oh no. What? This... No, no. Uh, 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 no. 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 Oh no. No. I did... Now with the Necronomicog, in my grasp, it is time to withdraw for the final preparations. We couldn't just fight him, and then then we would not have a, th a fifth chapter, or whatever act. The high hand of destiny calls. All right, call. The Dark Lord departs. Make way! All hail the Dark Lord. I am the Bacon. Yo, here's my spicy Canadian take for the day. I think Canadian bacon sucks. I think female bacon is like one of the worst things we have. And we're so goddamn proud of it and I hate it. It's trash. 
female bacon is absolute trash and I don't care. And anyone who wants to talk to me about female bacon and how good it is, they can just, they can, you know what? You are already committed to the worst fate because you're eating female bacon. Hate it. Garbage. Throw it away. <laughs> Confirm for pig. What? In a cage where furries belong. <laughs> oh no, no. No. Oh. But you're the hero. Don't go. Please. Heartbroken hero. Oh no. What is female bacon? Look up female bacon. <laughs> it's more like pea meal. It's more like pea meal. What in the names of God is pea meal? Basically, okay, um, let me see. Imagine, um, okay, you know like ham hock? You know like you can get a ham hock from the grocery store like, and then slice off your own ham, right? Okay, now you know how it has kind of like a rubbery skin? All right, so imagine it without that rubbery skin and instead it's got kind of a cornmeal uh, edging, right? So there's like no, there's no uh, rubbery skin that's, that's gone and instead it's replaced with a kind of a uh, cornmeal edging and then it's just very salty. And that's, that's supposedly Canadian bacon. Although there are many, many um, like contradicting sources that say, well, no, that's not Canadian bacon. This is Canadian bacon. No, that's not Canadian bacon. This, this is, you haven't had real Canadian bacon if you don't have it. Shut up. Hate it. Hate all it, all, it can all go in the trash, so it doesn't matter at all. It's all trash. It is wet curd, unsmoked pork, loin wrapped in comio. So it's pork with it's pork that's been ruined. Yeah, kinda. But Oric, if you knew all this time that Gilgamesh was the Dark Lord, why did you keep it from us? I needed to make sure you were up for the task, or I would just send you towards an early grave. You have proven yourselves beyond any doubt to be true heroes, and I am sorry you to have led you astray. How did we even end up in this mess? There's a lot of things you need to tell us. Uh, what does it matter? Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing. What? What? Nothing. Why does it matter? Nothing matters. First time I met Gilgamesh was in the temperance of Lux Ultima, a knightly order in the northernmost mountains. From his first day, everybody adored him, and he just loved it. He was pure as the driven snow, unmatched in strength and bravery, but uh, uh, prone to caper his ways through his way through the more self-reflecting disciplines. And how many evenings did I not spend trying to enthuse him in philosophy or visual arts? When the Grand Knight chose Gilgamesh to ride along uh, against the behemoth, I in turn was chosen to be his companion and squire, sidekick, if you will. You have all heard the story about how we defeated the monster, so I won't go into detail. Suffice to say, Gilgamesh tore the Necronomicog right out of the monster. The Grand Knight of Lux Ultima made certain to find a proper place for the Necronomicog, burying it in a secret remote location where it would do no harm. In any case, when I last met Gilgamesh after all this time, he had changed. He thought himself forgotten and the Age of Heroes to be over. He wanted to use the Necronomicog. His plan was to reawaken the behem behemoth so he could defeat it and be the great hero again. Or, as he said, show people what true heroism is really about. Armily, did you know Gilgamesh set up the first organized guild back in the day to promote true heroism? Whatever. <laughs> I tried to make him see the folly of his plan, but I could see in his big brave eyes that, my words, the message fell on deaf ears. The Grand Knight would never disclose the whereabouts of the Necronomicog, but I could not rely on his its secret location to keep keep Gilgamesh from reaching his goal, so I needed to find another way of stopping him. I needed to convince him that true heroism still existed, and when he caged me and my hopes were an, at an all-time low, I found you. And you did show me that true heroism existed. 
but I see now how uh, lost my old friend is. It is all about his own glory. What a fool I have been. You think you're the fool? Huh? Ever since we set out on this swing, I've had it up to my ears with wimpy heroes. Stuck-up alchemists, corn-fed druids, and heck knows. Some mild protesting aside, I've let myself get dragged around half a kingdom without much of a fuss. Right. But one thing I really can't accept is having done all this sim to simply give up as soon as the going gets a little bit tougher. Damn straight, I'm gonna let that bully- I'm not gonna let that bully end the world. Cute fox lore moment. You, you guys, me- here's- here's the spicy moment. Y'all are very convinced that Auric is a furry. But maybe that's projection. You get y'all convinced, very stubborn in 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 believing that Oric is a furry. But maybe you are the furry, and you don't like seeing that in him. Huh? He isn't. He doesn't wear a little bit, even one little bit of fur on him at all. He's got a fox mask, but it's still made of metal. There's no fur on him. In fact, that the fox mask is one of many, and all of the other ones are also not animals. So, I, I, I implore you to seek your seek inside yourself. Uh, is the furry in your heart, actually? Yeah. Uh, now you are. Now you're uncomfortable, huh? Don't uh, don't not sit so pretty now, huh? I haven't pulled myself in my from every L. There is just a croak on some chauvinistic jock with a superiority co complex. He's literally wearing a fur suit? No! I, it, explain to me how. It's a mask. I've seen how easy it is to stray from even the path of science. When alchemy is used for the bad of the world instead of the good, let alone what it does to the people we love. I can't let that be. I mean, like... Copernicus cosplaying a wizard, basically. But, like... It's just a mask. If he had... Okay, here's here's the difference, chat. Um, if he had a, a fake, like, tail... Like, he, if he was wearing a, a tail or something... I, you might have something. But as it stands, he's just a... He's just like a, a samurai dude with a mask that... You know, like a fox mask. I think, like, you know, Princess Mononoke is more a furry than this guy. You know, she wears fur. <laughs> We're not projecting your. Furryism is not about the fur. It's about the fluff in all of us. Right. We, we're all furries in the eye of uh, chat. This is where chat turns on me again. Why is Big Simple defending the furry? <laughs> Wait, he must be a furry. And then this becomes like some kind of like long-standing joke. Ah, furry's got to get ready for his next stream. Got to don his gloves and uh, weird tail. And then I make a, uh, a little animatronic, like uh, a new bimple with, with fox ears. And then I start saying things like, Nya, we're doomed. All of us, Chet. This is it. This is the turning point. This is where it all goes downhill. You could stop this right now. Why isn't Big Simple defending the furry? <laughs> you could stop this right now. If you, if you, if you, you could kill this joke right in its sleep right now if you wanted to. But you won't. I know you won't, Chet. This is it. This is how the channel turns into a furry channel. <laughs> uh, big is a furry until face reveals show otherwise. I mean, people who are furries also have faces. <laughs> uh, unless you're, you're 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 suggesting I am I am a furry because I wear a suit and I am always wearing that suit. Hi, I'm here to request our ample amounts of nya. Nya, thanks. I can't let that be. I can't let that shape the world of, for future generations. I, uh, I feel ashamed that I invited despair so far into my mind. 
Our time together underlines again and again that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. Yeah, chat. Yeah. Oh, he took it off. Uh oh. There, he took off the mask. <laughs> uh, we must never give up on ourselves. We must never give up on the world. He's got the most human looking face of any robot in this entire series. Faith is gaining ground. Origin. He's got a really... He's actually got a really nice face. I appreciate his design a lot, actually. Damage to one foe three times. Remove masks. Removes masks and raises orc strength and magic by one grade each. I also really appreciate that the, all of the cards are kind of uh, intrinsic to their character. Like, they, they, they have, like, character moments, and then they get a new card that kind of, uh, you know, reflects that character growth. There is still time. There is still time. What say you, Armilly? Come on, Millie. If this isn't a chance to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many, then what is it? Our heroes were down on their luck and their lowest, but still, there was a spark of hope. And what are we waiting for? Let's go beat the beat us a Dark Lord. Is that frog dude also has a mask on? Hey, there's a question. Why is Oracle furry, but not, uh, uh, what's his name? Frog Lad. Frog Lad is a, is a scaly. If Oric is a furry, then Frog Lad is a scaly. I know that some of chat is going to ask me what a scaly is. Chapter 16. I will not answer that question. He's not fox, he's samurai. That's what I that's what I would that's what I've been saying. I've been saying that. Why? Galio isn't a furry, he's actually part frog. No, he's a robot. As has been established. They're they're robots. They can't be part frog. That's impossible. So that means maybe, uh, maybe Galio's parents. How does reproduction work in this universe? Do they like build their their new people? Like, I here's the thing. Oric talks about his past, right? And there's been books and stuff about it. They don't really talk about aging. I don't think that aging is a thing in this universe. If they don't get destroyed, then basically the robots live forever. So, Oric is kind of like an elf. You know, like, he, he's seen many, many ages, right? But, like, how do new robots happen? Lecturing us about robotics. Uh, I mean, like, I'm not going by any kind of realistic robotics. I'm going by, like, what makes sense as per a fiction, right? He's actually part frog. You are literally insulting his race. Show me the source. Show me the source. Where is he a frog? You can't tell me he's a frog. How? Tell me how. Tell me wh how is he a frog? How? Like, what, what, was his parents part frog? Was one a frog robot? What, like, what? How does that work? Tell me. I don't think frogs banging robots is anatomically possible. Well, even if, like, his mom was, like, an actual frog robot, like, just, like, you know, ribbit, like, hopping around, and his dad was just a normal robot, I still don't think that works, because robots don't reproduce that way. Do they? What, chat, what are you telling me right now? Turn left? No. <laughs> no, I'm driving us right off this cliff. Tell me. Didn't you watch the robots movie? They didn't really explain it in that either. They didn't explain it in that. They definitely alluded to robots having a sex drive. But I don't know what that means. Frobot. That's not a pronoun. That's a that's a noun, Andrino. That's a that's a noun. 
Um, all right, well. We must traverse the dark frost mountains to reach the fortress under which the behemoth resides. Turn right. There, we will stop Gilgamek from awakening it. I've changed my mind. Let's go back to the campfire. Armilly, you haven't said anything since we left the cursed city. Don't worry. Get to move on before my eyelids freeze. It's a professional noun. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a good, that's a good joke. Good joke. I like that one. Very good. <laughs> Druids. Yo, re genuine question. Why are Druids the bad guy in this universe? Like, I keep we- oh, I keep weeding. I keep waiting for them to kind of turn a corner and, and actually say that Druids aren't, aren't so bad. Because why does it- it doesn't make sense to me to be, like, hating on druids this hard, right? L l what's the deal? Why- why do we hate druids? They just- they never turned- they never turned uh, around on it. Druids are just bad in this universe. Why are druids bad? This segment may make it much worse. What- what happened? That's a known unknown, not a known known. My migraine. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be making your migraine worse. Quivering palm. You know, I've been buzzing my own hair since the pandemic started, but this summer is the first time I've buzzed my danger zone. What does that mean? And why did you share that with us? Does that mean... Uh, no further questions, actually. Technology seems fairly antithetical to traditional druidic lore. Hey, that's actually a really good point, Ben. I didn't think of it like that. The reason druids are bad is because they are, they are anti-robot. I can't actually, when I think about it, I can't imagine anything more anti-tech or, or, like, druids are basically like Amish they're the fantasy version of Amish you know like they're like no you know like in D&D &D, you can't even wear uh, like anything made of metal without taking pretty major uh, negatives so it really stands to reason that druidic robots would um, not be okay it's that's a really good point I feel like they should have um, leaned into that a little bit they should have made them a bit more um What's zealous? Like, they should have made them zealot. They would have been like, you know, uh, we are uh, an incarnation of evil. Robots are, are are bad. And we should return to the roots. Return to Earth. And, and uh, let's let nature regrow. Because that's, that's, the, that's how things are meant to be. They should have leaned into that a little bit more. Because I never really get much impression as to why the druids are a problem. It's just like, oh, they, they harbored the Necronomicog. Why? Why did the, why are the druids connected to the Necronomicog? I shared it, you read it. I can't explain why they are ro robot druids, though. I can. Might get spicy, though. They hate Iron Maiden. They can't stand Pentakill. Hyper naturalists. So here's why they're robots. Um, you know, like you can't, you can't really control um, your origins, right? You can't decide where you came from, but you can, you can have an opinion on where you think things should go. They're robots because they were made robots. Like you know, just like we're human, right? We don't get to decide, hey, we're gonna be a fox person. Uh, you know, the next, the next. Like, we can, we can just obviously decide what kind of people we are, but we're still people. Like, we're still human, right? So the druids are robots. They can't control that, but they can say, well, druids are bad. And that includes us as well. We're trying to be less robot. Speaking of D&D, my first one shot did so well that they are asking for a campaign. Kind of overwhelmed. I, I understand that. How much time did you put into that one shot? 
This terrain sure takes its toll on the spokes and wheels axles. Okay, I have quite a bit of money. Um, chat, would you like me to switch up my team a bit? Wow, they really went full... They, they really committed to Auric taking off their mask. They're even, they even have the mask off in the menus now. Double swing. Um, you know, the twins really don't have anything that synergizes with my current team. What is this? Deals arcane damage to all poison foes. Oh, that could be good. I I can I can get with that because then I'll put on some more poison. Actually, I don't think I have any more poison. I also I'm um, I'm assuming since I'm moving into a v kind of frosty region, maybe uh, switching to fire would be a good idea. That's very very uh, like lame reasoning, but am I wrong? Uh, congrats, A. I believe you will continue to do well. Ten minutes before the start. What? No, I'm a 10. Come on. Not like how much prep did you do? Like how much time did it take you to make that one shot? Kinda inspirational. Kill the twins, kill the twins. You want me to get rid of the twins? You don't like the twins? Is that, is that what chat wants? I could bring our Millie back for the ending. Uh, I apparently have no Phoenix feathers or Phoenix plume. Where do I get these? It seems I need like a lot of upgraded uh, stuff. Can I only buy those materials? Oh my god. <laughs> That's expensive. I can't. Wow. So I can basically afford to upgrade one item. No, not the twins. Fire is a very potent element in the end game, and both Copernica and Armelie can specialize in it. Twins are your best unit. Hmm. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm not putting our Millie back in, and if I'm gonna keep the twins, I'm keeping Galio because he's got poison and blindside, and also Galio is just good. Um, Copernicus also got fire, so I kind of want to keep her, and I've already got her spec for fire, kind of, right now. So, what can we do? Can we upgrade this? Nope. We need ten more scrolls. It's already been upgraded once, which is good. Um, we need 10 more for this one as well, and we need 10 more for this one as well. Okay, uh, I think I want to buy just a bunch of smoldering embers. Is Oh, no, the, sorry, scroll fragments. I'm going to buy 10, 10 more is what I need, and then I need another 30. So that'll be 4,000 in total. And that'll let me upgrade two of uh, Copernica's <clears throat> moves. So we'll do, um, I think I want to do Flame Wave. Oh, we need Smoldering Embers for this as well. Shoot, I might not have enough then. Oh, no, I do, I do. How much do I need now? Okay, a lot, so that's not happening. Um, I kind of want to do that, and then Fire Pillar is just a really good move, but... Uh, well, what is, that doesn't seem to upgrade it at all. What what's the what's the point here? 318 318. What's what's the point? The entire second line of materials are rare drops in the last area of the game. You have like a full dungeon left ahead of you. Oh, I I I I, I knew that. I knew I knew that going into this, but also um No, no, no. We should we might still be able to finish it today, guys. I've only been going for what? 46 minutes? We have like another hour or and a half of this. I can go for, for two hours total. Big stays focused and plays really well. He could probably beat it in the next two hours. Maybe hour and a half. If he doesn't beat it today, he'll definitely beat it next Tuesday. If I don't beat it today, I'll beat it next Tuesday and then we'll start um, library, library of Ruina. 
So, what? What? Can someone explain to me what the point is here? Because I'm thinking I might just improve fire pillar. This isn't that good either. It's just like 20 more. I guess it's 60 in total. Uh, raises her fire damage. This could be really nice. I don't have enough for it though. I could just hold off and then try and upgrade Burning Desire. As was mentioned again, take a drink. Yo. I'm just gonna hold off for now. And let's do a little bit of deck rearranging. So we're gonna take in um, Virulence. We'll put in two of those instead of the twin combos. Those are arcane damage. So we'll take out that. And we'll keep in Raven Strike because that's arcane. And um, how? What is it? What does despair do? Victims can't be healed. That's not bad, but I think that there are better things. Deals arcane damage to one foe whenever they take damage. Oh, that's kind of nice. So we're gonna go a bit more arcane with the twins for a while. Um, that means we're taking out steel strength, and we'll put in some more siphon mines. I can put in four. I guess I can't really afford four. Um, this is going to be a lot more expensive in general. Oh, wait a minute. No. Yeah. Raises all allies dodge chance. I'm looking for like a very low cost arcane damaging spell, but it doesn't look like there is one. So we'll keep it like this. We'll keep one axe chop. Some of the upgrades increase the status effects the cards do. You gotta read the upgrade note on them. Okay. Alright, so do we have all the poisons? No, we don't. We need one more poison in there, and I'm gonna remove shield up. I think that shield up is not great for us anyway. Poison will be good. Uh, I guess the one nice thing about shield up is it gives us more steam, but I think we have enough steam generating stuff. Can we put it? Oh, it's too bad I can't put in another fixer. And then, uh, finally, Copernica, we're gonna get, focus, re improves our magic. Um, let's remove that and put in Burning Desire. I think it will probably do, like, the same thing. Oh, this combos with Armelli. I'm not sure, maybe we wanna remove arcane detective and put in focus i like arcane detective because it um gives us a lot of extra steam so maybe i'll take out sleep and then put in arcane detective and then we're we're a very fire fiery bunch um <clears throat> i think this is a good spread i'm i'm pretty happy with all of this i think this is all pretty good what happened to your new job Uh. All right, I, I am I am pretty happy with our new team comp. Won't budge. It's locked up tight. I didn't mean to do that. I meant I, I forgot that I have to press the space bar. Damn it. Do 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 do. Oh, I forgot I should get like a new weapon or something. Cause this is gonna be a physical damage. I wonder if there, there's another uh, weapon for. The twins that'll do magic damage because we're gonna be gaining a lot of. Look, they just did a thousand damage with their Raven Strike. Ouch! Yo, what? Um, might want to do some recovery soon. Ouch. Stop it. That's fine. Oh, this does it to all of them? Oh, man. This is actually really good. Oh. Am I wrong in thinking that's actually amazing?
Okay, let's heal up Copernica. And then Copernica is going to do just some basic damage. I mean, I say basic, it's a thousand damage to one unit. Corruption? Oh no. Um, let's see here. Siphon mind. Okay, that, that, that works. Um, minor strategy, active spoilers. This dungeon includes a boss rush. You get a break between fights, so be prepared with anyone you plan on using. Next paycheck fixes things. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm a ten. That really sucks. No, I clicked outside the window. I'm surprised that hasn't happened more, actually. <laughs> Not a curse word. <laughs> I like that, uh, um, and, you know, just insurance, like, it's not a swear word. All right, let's use some repair vials. There you go. Perfect. I haven't really been using those. Oh, let me do, do a, just a quick check, um, to see if there's some weapons I can buy for the twins. Vile weaponry. Skunk spray. Uh, inflicts poison on all foes for three turns. That's actually really nice. Ooh. And it also increases their magic. Yeah, let's do that. They might get a, a different weapon or a better weapon, but I like that. Big pH is filtered, but that's <laughs> just fine. It's not fine. I'm, I'm. Every time you guys say it, I have to go like exit the game and unhide the, the message. <laughs> Stop saying it. <laughs> good day. Good good day, goof sir. Hello, goobers. All right. So, we might, uh, for the people just joining now, we might be finishing this game today. That would be kind of nice if we were. Ooh. Oh, this could be nice. Ooh, yeah. All right. Flame reaction. Look how much damage I just did. Oh my god. Oh ho ho. That was um, incredible, actually. And I get to do it again. Well, not quite. But I get to have another combo with Copernica. Of course, this guy resists f uh, fire. Well, does, I wonder if they resist. Wait a minute. That's not really what I want. Okay, there we go. That's good. This'll be good. That, uh, that group poison is gonna do really good stuff. I promise. Hey, bot. He do be goofy. He goofy, he simple. Yo, what? 2,000 gold pieces. He's had a rough day. I don't know, he looks kind of happy. He does kind of look happy. Uh-oh. Oh my god, look at them all. 
Um, tempted to do blind sides to start with, and then an arcane defective. I know it's not a combo, but I, I know I didn't roll any of my my cards, but I kind of wanted to keep them all. So there you go. It's already paid for itself. Ah, uh, oh, this would be so good. It's a shame that I can't like. I'm gonna have to do this first. If that makes sense. Oh, actually, I can't do this because I don't have enough steam. So I'll re-roll one of these. Oh, this sucks. Okay, hold on. Oh, perfect. Okay. This is. This means I'm gonna get to poison all of them. And then we can use a virulence next turn. Depends on the weapon the character has equipped. Each character has about three different combo moves to choose from. Is the fourth combo skill always the same? Oh, I see, yeah. So they're all poisoned now. Um, we'll do a Burning Desire for uh, to set up, but we're going to do Virulence, because that's going to do just a ridiculous amount of damage. They're all poisoned right now. Virulence is such a good move. I'm so glad I discovered this one. It's just, like, the twins are gonna carry us, for sure. Do 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 Okay, this, uh, this seems pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill all of them right now. Look at that. We will all go together when we go. Yo, guys, remember I was talking about Tom Lair? There's a Tom Lair reference in the achievements in this game. I just got an achievement called We Will All Go Together When We Go. That's really funny. Was not expecting a Tom Lair reference in this game. Wow. Winds of Madness. Um, I would have just preferred money. It's like every Christmas ever. <laughs> or holidays, like... I got you, uh, I got you a, a box of crayons. Because I know you're an artist. That's, I'm, I'm like, very much revealing my selfishness right now. 100% revealing just how selfish I am. <laughs> I, I am literally never gonna swap off our Millie Copernica and Galio. Praise the twins. They are really good. Okay, we're gonna swap out their moves for now. Oh, okay. Double poison. Perfect. And I need... Uh... Yeah, I mean... Um, the insight on, on how good poison is was really handy. Um, let's swap some more of these out. Oh, Doom. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And we get to uh, do a combo with Copernica. Oh my god. She's doing just gangbusters damage right now. I do think we... I, I think we would be doing better with our Millie in some ways because I know that she has some really good combo moves with uh, Fire. But, um, I don't know. I just like this more in some ways. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was a fat finger mouse click. Shoot. I wish people stopped giving gifts for Christmas. It always makes me uncomfortable receiving them and finding gifts for others stresses me out. I like giving gifts. I don't like receiving gifts. Uh, by and large, I will say, um, but, you know, just, just to be clear, I, I did appreciate No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. I, I appreciate, you know, if a, if a gift is, like, something that is good for everyone, like, if it's something I can share, that's nice. I appreciate that. You know, like, something like a, you know, like a bag of candy or something, or, like, chocolate. You know, I can share that, and then it doesn't feel so bad getting something like that. I also, um, th this is going to be a, a very nerdy statement, but I actually really... Um, prefer the idea of a hobbit birthday where when it's your birthday you give gifts to everyone else 
It just makes so much more sense. It, the, the, the logic is so good. The reasoning. You only have to worry about giving gifts to people one time per year. That's it. And it also, you get to, you know, the best part about gift giving is on your birthday. You get to give the gifts. That's the best part. Getting gifts sucks, by and large. But also, um, there's one other thing. You also get gifts more spread out throughout the year. And it's a bit more spontaneous, you know? That's, that's if you don't remember someone's birthday, right? You will remember your birthday, but you are allowed to not remember everyone's birthday. I think that that's fair, right? So, you know, the fact of the matter is, giving gifts on your birthday makes a lot more sense. I just, I think. MVP? Yeah, I, I, th I would agree that Copernica should be on all teams. No matter what your team comp is, it should probably include Copernica. Have you ever met someone you have admired for years before you met him or her? Uh, yeah. I met, uh, Mike Mignola. That's, like, the only time I think I've been, like, actually nervous about meeting someone because I really enjoyed, uh, Mike, Mike Mignola's comics. Uh, if you don't know who Mike Mignola is, they made, uh, Hellboy and, uh, um, BPRD, which is also Hellboy again. But... Yeah, no, I, you know, as far as meeting someone whose work I admire, that was the case. I mean, I also met and am now, like, pretty good friends with uh, Shen, who does uh, the Shen comics. Originally Owl Turd. I think, the, I think changing the name from Owl Turd to Shen comics made a lot of sense. Um, that was pretty good. That's I think that's like the the biggest name person that I, I was able to to buddy up with. Um, who else? I don't I don't know. Like celebrities are kind of whatever to me. I, I don't really care about a lot of celebrities. It, it, so you know I have to admire someone's work to actually you know want to meet them. I, I've met you know actors from Game of Thrones. I met uh, I can't remember her name. I'm not gonna be able to remember anyone's name. Oh, okay. Um, shoot, who's the guy? My, I'm really, really bad with names. Um, who's the guy that played Aquaman? Jason Momoa. I met, I met Jason Momoa. That was pretty good. I also, I did meet uh, Pearl. Uh, oh, shit. Um, what's his name? The guy who played Hellboy. <laughs> Can't remember his name now. Something Perlman. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. I met Ron Perlman, and I didn't have any money at the time. I was just kind of, like, saying hello to people, so I drew him. I drew him as a plant. Don't ask me why. <laughs> um... And, uh, he was, uh, he really appreciated it, so he gave me a, a Hellboy print and signed it for free. Well, not for free, I, 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 I did him a service. Also, is my thing stuck? Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on with uh, my my little thing. I fixed it now, but Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman's great. I really like Ron Perlman. He's he's a he's a really fun guy. I I like I don't know. I have mixed feelings about meeting celebrities because like we don't know them at all. Like we don't know them. You don't know that person. You might know the character they played. But is my thing stuck? <laughs> Phew, that was an abominable mess. A surprise. A pack of barges. They have adapted to colder environments by, among other things, huddling and... Can we please keep moving? My ears are starting to grow icicles. 
The only celebrity I've been excited to meet was Bill Nye. Oh, nice. That's a good one. I'd, I, like, I'd rather meet someone who'd be fun to kind of hang, hang around and, like, make a conversation with than someone who's, like, very, just, they're just famous. You know, like, they're just famous. That's all, that's really all they've got. Like, they, they just, like, you know, like, um, uh, shoot. Robert Downey Jr.? No interest in meeting Robert Downey Jr. I'm sure he's a lot of fun in real life, but, like, I have, I don't know what I would say to him. Like, it was like, okay, you, you played a... Uh, you know, famous character, and uh, you know, I liked some of your movies. I liked uh, when he played Charlie Chaplin. That was a good movie. Deliberately avoiding all of the Marvel stuff. Deliberately avoiding and and just kind of sidelining the Marvel stuff. Yeah, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. would be fun. I mean, I liked meeting Ron Perlman because, like, I've listened to some of the stuff he's podcasted in and he's, he seems like a fun guy but also you know it's just it's a fun thing i just don't know like someone who's who's famous I, it just it just seems weird to me like we don't know them my first long-term girlfriend and i had a running joke about cheating on each other with ron perlman <laughs> here it is the final that's a, that's quite a joke you've got there <laughs> You should tell that one to Ron Perlman. Tweet it to him. I'm sure he would find it hilarious. I'm sure he would find it funnier than that cat picture that gets shared about once a, once every month. Before they themselves went quietly into the pages of history, the temperance of Lux Ultima erected this fortress upon the monster's lifeless body. Alright, let's go. Back before he played Hellboy. Then he walked into her little rubber stamp store in downtown Manhattan. Hung, hung out with bands at bars before, and that was cool, but celebrity means nothing. I don't know if uh, Big will beat the game. Tell you what, I'm going to beat this game today. I'm going to go out of my way to beat it. We're having a good time. You know what? The first segment of stream is one of my favorite parts, as is all segments of stream. <laughs> Because uh, it's like I, I kind of turn my brain off a little bit when I play this game, and uh, that just means we get to have some some decent conversation. That's weird. What is it? You're not seeing the blue peppermint puffer right in front of us. I don't know, but it's a dank old castle, so nothing out of the ordinary, right? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Someone warned me. Yeah, Neville, did you warn me there was going to be a. Uh, um, boss rush. We're about to fight, um, our first boss. The recent first segment banter is high quality. It's, it's so long as we don't keep, as long as we keep it unspicy, you know? Uh, you know, I'd rather actually be fighting bosses than these goons. Did I just miss? I feel like I just missed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just raise a bunch of uh, steam. Did not warn you, had to have been Kevbo. It's just vibe time in here. It do be vibe time. Also, um, do you, did, did anyone check out the Vault of the Void? Let's, let's try, I, I put up. Um, that's a game, like, I've, I've really, like, been tempted to p play that on stream. I don't think anyone would really appreciate it. It's probably not a fun game to watch, and I'm very conscientious of not, put, you know, doing content that is fun for me, but not for anyone else, you know? But, man, I love that game. I love that game a lot. I think it's my new favorite deck builder, for real. Like, it's so good. Um... But, you know, also, it's been really good on Steam Deck. It's a really chill game to play on the deck. It's a... I would not recommend, like, if you... Like, for... I know Colin in, uh... I can't... Is Colin here right now? I know Colin got a deck. Um, I wouldn't recommend learning how to play that game on the deck. But it's a really, really solid game. Um. But, yeah. 
I don't know why I brought it up. Mostly because I've been playing it and, and enjoying it. I did not warn you it had to have been Kevbo. It was Kevbo. Oh, I mean, yeah, sure, I warned you. I'm helpful like that. Praise me more. Neville gives the best advice about uh, Hand of Gilgamesh and makes sure not to spoil anything at all. Except that one time he told me about the boss rush. What an absolute bastard. Can't believe that guy. He had such a good track record. Almost flawless. And then he spoiled it by spoiling the boss rush. Can't believe him. Oh no, I didn't want to re-roll that. That was stupid. Oops, that was just dumb. Hated that. Well, this is pretty good, actually. Yeah, you got your deck yesterday? Yo! What have you been playing on it, Colin? Uh, don't mind us, the rest of chat. Us de Steam Deck owners are gonna have a nice little private conversation. You feel free to leave the stream and come back in about uh, two hours. It's, it's, uh, it's, this is premium uh, Steam Deck ownership conversation time. You'd know the feeling if you owned one. <laughs> Potentially actually alienated half of chat. <laughs> For a very good joke. A very good joke. I love that joke. My favorite joke. Uh, this is unfortunate. Well, whatever, we're gonna do it anyway. Apartheid 2.0. <laughs> you can't say that. Yo, is it just me, or has it been a quite a long time since we've saved the game? Just gonna go ahead and use that. Uh... Okay, gotta make a choice here. Don't know which one is correct. Yeah, I own a Steam Deck. I got the slightly older model released by Nintendo. You, you think you're so clever, but I, I had a Switch and it's fine. You know what I like about the Steam Deck? Not to, not to get spicy for a moment. You know what I really like about the Steam Deck is after I buy it, I'm done. Like I don't have to rebuy my library. It's just there. It is there. And also, uh, without getting too, uh, you know, <clears throat> like, illegal or anything, but uh, so is the library of the Nintendo console. <laughs> like, it is also there. You know, it, it just happens to be there as well. I don't know. It, I may have, have, a, have to take a few steps to get it there, but, you know, never mind. It's, it's there. And the PlayStation 1 console, <clears throat> and the uh, NES, and the SNES, and the Genesis, and the... Uh, yeah, it's all there. <clears throat> I don't know why. It's just, it's just there. Heck of a time, you know? I didn't honestly think uh, I'd ever get to a point in my life where, like, Consoles that I didn't just grow up with, but were like a thing during my uh, my teenage years would be right ripe for emulation. I honestly thought like, oh man, the PS One. That's you know we we might see emulation for the SNES, but we'll never see em emulation for the PlayStation One. It's too powerful. N sixty four, no way. PlayStation three, no way. But it's, it's <laughs> nothing is sacred. Uh, everything's poison, so... Oh, perfect. I'm calling Shigeru Miyamoto. You do that. Call that guy. I got a, I got a couple of bones to pick with the Miyamoto. Let stories exist in the Mario universe. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Nice. Love this. He bought the game. Emulating it should be legal. No. Um, it's kind of a gray area. This is... Uh, here's here's the way it works. If there's literally any reason that Nintendo could sue you, they'll try. 
they'll they'll send you a letter, right? Even if they're in the wrong, if they're completely in the wrong, it doesn't matter. They'll still send you a letter, and this is the reason why. It's because they have lawyers and you don't, and you cannot afford to fight them on it. So they know that, and therefore they're going to send you a letter. So um, good system, right? That that's a good it's a good system, and everyone is a winner except for you and me. <clears throat> so. Sacred sounds like druid talk. <laughs> so, like, here's what's legal, right? You own the game. You, I, I bought Super Mario World on the SNES. Uh, legally, I am allowed to dump the files from that cartridge and then put them, you know, run them on an emulator on my console. It, I bought the game. I should have the right to do that, right? That's legal. I'm allowed to do that. Emulating is not illegal. Uh, distributing uh, ROMs is what's illegal. Downloading a ROM for the SNES is illegal, technically. I mean, it's not. It's copyright infringement, which is different. It, that's not. You're not breaking a law. It's just you're allowed to be sued. There's a difference between like breaking a law and going to prison, and then infringing on someone's copyright. They're allowed to sue you, but that doesn't mean you go to jail. You know, people get very, they're very quick on the trigger when it comes to emulating. It's like, you're breaking the law. No, this is copyright infringement. Very different. No law is broken here. It's, it's copyright law. It's not, you know, like, you don't go to jail. It's, that's silly. All right. Now that we've gotten, <laughs> let's talk about the political climate a little bit more, you know. I'm a little bit uh, huffy when it comes to emulation because I see a lot of takes um, online that are bad about emulation, to put it lightly. I see bad takes because people get very sensitive. Oh, you when you just want to you want to play your Super Nintendo games on whatever? Yes. What? Why are you stopping me? Why are you even trying to stop me? You can't stop me. Okay, we're gonna look at this for a second. Uh, has a 30% chance to inflict burn for three turns. Okay, so that's why, that's what that is. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Here we go. It took an hour and 18 minutes for Big to start his weekly Steam rant about capitalism. I'm not even talking about capitalism. You brought up capitalism. Let it be known, I never even mentioned the C word. I should buy some more equipment. What do we got? No, like, everything. This seems good. Uh, more experience points. That seems kind of late. Grants a 15% chance to be able to play an extra card each turn. Whenever you scrap an enemy, you have a 50% chance of being able to play an extra card next turn. Uh, I don't know. Grants attacks. Grants attacks a chance to in full. Oh ho ho ho! Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Heal the weir wearer for eight percent of their maximum health whenever a foe is scrapped. Yes, that sounds very good indeed. I like that a lot. Uh, do we have a do more fire damage? This is fire defense. Storm power arcane. Yes, please. Uh, null burn, null poison. Do we not have a do more fire damage, or did I already buy that basically? Flaring grimoire, flame reaction. Careful with this one around other books. Do I should? Yeah, I mean that gives us just more damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And what do we have here? Phalanx fists. I don't have enough for it. Never mind. Imagine being able to buy games, like, not because you have money to buy, not, but because your country isn't blocked by all gaming stores. <laughs> you know, I'm a 10. I know I'm not supposed to, but I do feel for you. I, I, I think that it's kind of silly. I understand why it's happening, and I understand nothing can really change about that, but um, it, it sucks. It's not a good situation. The whole thing kind of sucks. 
Uh, it's my favorite segment. I just love teasing and taunting big. Are you, like, waving the red flag for me? Yo, my red flag for me is definitely emulation. You tell me I don't have a right to emulate? I'll, I swear to God, I'll charge you cash money. My fully shadow band. <laughs> have you ever watched any of Warlock or C's content? Ultimate freedom, at least, at last. Why does it matter what you play your game on? You bought the game, you built... Well, it's a tricky situation, Colin, because, um, you know, whether or not I bought Super Mario World on, you know, whatever, uh, did I go to the effort to, to dump the files on my Super Mario World? I will not confirm or deny, because that would uh, definitely implicate me. But, you know, that I'm lazy. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I, bu I bought it, but I, I what it, did I go to the extra effort to not be breaking copyright laws? Maybe is all I'll say. But people get really huffy about that. Oh, you should have bought the game the sixteenth time. Yo, Nintendo just made the game. They just released Wave Racer sixty four on their cool premium sixty five dollar a month service or whatever. You should have bought that. You can't complain that they didn't make it available because they put it on their premium $65 a year service, whatever. So now you have to go and buy that and, and buy Wave Racer 64 for the 50th time. Go away. Leave my house. How did you get in here? Hate you. Truly. Leave me. Shigeru Miyamoto can come to my house... And I'll have a, a chat with him, and he will not understand me at all, because I do not speak Japanese. Attention students, ne Neophyte Copernica is requested at the headmistress's study. Hey, Jared. All said was the American dream right there. Bumming Japan pays dividends. Perfectly reasonable. What? 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 The last message got through had me worried when YouTube blocked three messages in a row. I didn't block anything. I didn't see them is the difference. Did I not see them? Hold on a second. I saw Neville said a smiley face. I mean, if he bought the game emulating, it should be legal. Big just admitted he uses ROMs called Nintendo. Uh, Apartheid 2.0. Read it again. There you go. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, sure. I warned you. I'm helpful like that. I don't know. I think I saw them all. Did, were there messages I missed? Oh, I see. You said... You said the American dream right there, bu bumming Japan pays dividends. That's what I was getting at. It's really silly buying the same game over and over because... I had this conversation uh, with a couple of um, absolute nerds a few years ago. You know, And this conversation definitely led to me not wanting to hang out with them anymore. And I, I literally asked them, it's like, you know, do you really want to buy Super Mario World again for, like, the fourth time? Wouldn't it be nice if Nintendo just gave it to you? Like, you've, you've, it's, it's a 20 to 30 year old game now. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to buy it again and they would stop milking that? And they said, no, I would not like that. I want to buy it again. And it would actually annoy me if they gave it to me. They said that. These people exist. They exist. And I actually told them it would be really cool if there was some kind of platform that existed in which my library could just transfer over. Like I didn't have to buy games again. I didn't have to buy every game again. And I'm waiting for that. I, I don't really want to humor other platforms. And they said that'll never exist. That'll never exist and you're wrong. Uh, cue like five years later and the Steam Deck is a thing and, and now I'm very happy. <laughs> like, it's everything I wanted it to be. I basically just wanted a handheld PC and there have been other handheld PCs. I'm not saying that the Steam Deck is the only one, but as far as I'm concerned, there haven't been other good versions of that. Not as good as the Steam Deck anyway. It really is a dream. I love it. Uh, no, z no notes. Zero notes. Um, it blocks messages. I can see what gets through 
by what appears in the chat on stream. Oh, weird. It's funny that I don't get to see those. Wait a minute, maybe I do. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I did. Neville just dropped the E-bomb. Here comes the Nintendo... F you know what? I'm gonna get rid of YouTube chat in my OBS. It, it, it lets me down sometimes. Give me a second. I have to change things up a bit, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pop this out instead. And then I'm gonna get rid of that, and then we're gonna open that up. All right, now, um, now we're good. Now I, okay, uh, you shouldn't get blo shadow blocked anymore. Unless you say something I don't like, and then <laughs> you get shadow blocked. I am beginning to, s unless you tell me something like emulation is actually unethical and you shouldn't do it, and then, in which case, we'll never hear from Neville again. <laughs> Goodbye, Neville. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect some kind of retrospector at work here. What the heck is a retrospector? It draws out old encounters from your subconscious, forcing you to relive them. A mental echo, if you will. Sounds fun enough. Are they dangerous? Though they uh, can be very strong. They seldom reach the full power of what memory they sprung from. That's a relief. Gamer lean on. Uh... Now this the map is getting complicated. Now even the vilest of messages can get through happy face. I mean, I don't believe I said that. Do 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 There we go. Perfect. Actually, is it perfect? Yeah, it's perfect. Nintendo really should just make virtual console collections and sell them for a reasonably cheap price. I, I would agree with that, but it'll never happen because the thing, you know, there's only one th The reason Nintendo hates emulation so much, it's not because you're, they're not getting your money necessarily. It's that they don't have control over um, basically the value of their their collection. Like they like to, they really like to control the value of their games and they want that value to be as high as possible they'd prefer to not sell you a game if it meant that it drove up the value of their previous titles than just letting you buy the game and having it forever like the forever thing is what really drives them insane they hate that concept forever is a bad thing to them also i just noticed i did like no damage there oh right because i okay that makes sense Oh, uh, he's doing the berserk fist. I hate that. All right. Hate hate that. It sucks that it's the Megaton Punch as well. Oof, that was nice. The fact that Big keeps using virulence before he uses Skunk Spray drives me insane. Kevbo, it drives me insane as well. I have no choice in the matter. I have absolutely no say in the matter because the thing is like I can like I can only do the poison spray when I do a combo, right? And if the only card I have available to to set up the combo is Virulence, then I may as well use it. It does a lot of damage regardless of if they're poison or not. It just does more damage. Um you know, it, it, I I understand where you're coming from and it and it also upsets me. There we go. This is the perfect. The perfect hand does not exist. Excuse me? It's right here. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So is this the boss rush? Sort of. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting really close. I'm a 10. Real close. I promise you. You can redraw cards up to three times per turn. I can, but... You know, I'd rather do some damage. I, I do set up turns quite often, but I, like if I can only do the combo, I may as well do the combo. It's still a good combo, and it's like it. You know, it's not like the com there won't be more combos. Is it the most optimal combo? Yeah, no. But ooh, 
raises Terra and Thane's arcane damage by one grade and transforms their physical dim. Yo! Ex amazing. Fantastic. Let's, uh, get, let's get rid of Axe Chop and put that in there. The, the, you, you know, you, you may not like this setup, but I kind of like it a lot. We're going to try it anyway. Ooh. Yeah, handheld computers like my iPad joke. I remember there was a time when um, the, the 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 tablet was so popular. There were people who genuinely believed that PC gaming was going to fade from exi like out of existence. According to our decree, student sorry, not even like going to had already that that just like tablet gaming was superior. Students with crushes on their teachers are advised not to wear their hearts on their sleeve. Uh -huh. Hey, quit screwing around, you. Relax, it's probably just one of those retroscopes again. That is not the correct. Our dealings were professional, intellectual, and strictly pl platonic. Righto. That's, uh, that's weird. Uh... Emulation saved my childhood me memories. I mean, that's another thing. There's a lot of games that are not preserved. You know? You're not real. It's just in my head. This is how you speak to your headmistress? I think a little detention. Hey, did they just reveal that Copernica is is maybe a little bit uh, bi-curious? I don't know if we're suggesting that she was had a thing for the headmistress, but one of the teachers, maybe? I, I don't know. They did, they will not confirm or deny. We can see it too. You, you show that bird, Coco. You do know that this is just the retrospector that... Charge! I'm not quite sure if I want you to finish this game quickly or not. I, lots of mixed feelings. I understand where you're coming from, Imatan. I want to put you at ease about it. Uh, it's gonna be fine. There you go. Like, you know, I think we've got a pretty good, like, chill group here when it comes to, the, you know, our our uh, our set, our stream. Like, the there may we might have a few people resident sleeping on uh, on Library of Ruina. I guarantee you, um, there'll be a few people that are turned off by the anime style of it. But I think that for the most part, it'll be a fun time because it may be another thing where we can kind of turn our brain off. That's not true at all. But, you know, I, I can dream, right? Uh, everyone wants between those thick... Mm. I'm not revealing that one, Kevbo. <laughs> not because it's bad, but because... because Remember how many times uh, we, we uh, hid our messages? That's why. <laughs> Actually, let's do this as well. This way we set up, re like, really nicely. When did you start streaming? I started streaming an hour and 35 minutes ago. Oof. Ouchies. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of mending, I think. This'll work out, because then we can actually combo. I'm not afraid of my love. <laughs> Kevbo, Kevbo looking for the shadow band. <laughs> Actively fishing it out. Message retracted. Your first Steam ever. What? Oh, I see. When did you start streaming? Uh, that's a complicated question, actually. Because the thing is, is that um, I started streaming on YouTube. Well, you can see when my first stream on YouTube was. Uh, I think it was about, I don't know, six months after I started my YouTube uh, channel, which is about coming up to three years ago now. Wow, it's been, been a while, huh? Um... So, 
streaming on YouTube uh, about two years. I think I, I don't know. Time is a concept. Is a is a flat circle, Murph. But uh, streaming in general, I've been streaming for years. I just didn't. Yeah, I streamed on Twitch, and that was fruitless. Completely fruitless. I had a good time, I guess. But um, like Twitch just does nothing to uh, promote you. Like. Say what you want about YouTube's algorithm, and I will. It sucks. It's there still is an algorithm. Like I've managed to find some number of people on here that would find me entertaining. Uh, bless them. <laughs> but um, yeah, Twitch is just completely pointless. Okay, let's uh, let's do a little bit of recovery here. It's not looking good. Can't remember what the moon juice does. Grants a damage shield to one ally, inflicts confusion for three turns. Eh, that doesn't sound very good. I think I already got the shadow pan. I'm not on the little chat window on the screen. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens when you tempt fate. Uh, uh. I kind of want to switch back to the full heal, or actually just get a better weapon for Galio. Flinched. Yes. No. Did not. Did not. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. So, is this the rush? Yes, this is the rush. We are officially in the rush now. I know she was important to you. She was. Anyway, let's keep moving. That is the spirit. Carry it forward. Let's take the key and get back down to that locked door. So are we going to be fighting a boss from each of their important me memories? Who would we be fighting from uh, Auric? Oh, I guess Auric would be... Would we be fighting um, Gilgamesh? That'd be weird. Weapons. Let's see what we can get for Galio. Water jet. Protect your friends. Heals all allies by 80% magic and raises their physical de- Yeah, this is the one. Oh, I don't have enough. Can we sell some stuff? Okay, uh, don't hate me, but I'm gonna sell the Magnum Opus. And, uh, the Fla Flaring Codex. And, uh, I guess the Bandit Weaponry. Alright, now I'm going to buy... Phalanx Fists. Because, um, that... I know that that uh, the combo before was um, g giving me flinch, and flinch is great. Love flinch, love it, but um, I I'd prefer to have a bit more healing. Okay, uh, flinch only eliminates one card from the enemy. If it's a boss with multiple card attacks, it's of limited use. Yeah, I'd rather have the healing. I think. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? Looks like it's locked from the other side. I assume this is where I'm going. Oh, new enemy. Sort of. Do 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 I've got one of them poisoned, so when I use the uh Re Revulence, then, uh, you know, I don't want to hear it. I've, I've used it. Uh, this is not great. Yeah, still not good. Oh, man, the twins need a heal. Okay, let's do this. Let's blindside another one. Break down! Um, still not great, but not not terrible. Twins are one hit away from dying. Oh, not anymore. I'm not as uh, I'm not as uh. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know how to. I I don't have anything clever prepared.
I like Fixer a lot. Fixer is like one of my favorite cards because you only get it once, but then it just like like leaves. So it's it's a very no brainer card to play. Oh god! So the, they're going to take damage every time I play these, right? This is going to suck. Actually, I might I might have just killed Copernica. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Oopsie. It's okay, we'll get through this and then uh, I'll heal her. Why did uh, Virulence only work on one of them? I thought it did both of them. Do I not understand how this card works? I'm very happy today. I found out that Skechek, a F TF2 YouTuber I liked, is not dead. I thought he died of some disease. Oh, I thought you when you said dead, you meant like uh, they weren't posting anymore. <laughs> not like physically dead. Brutal. <laughs> There's quite a few bosses to go through. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Uh, Skechek is scummy. He literally faked the disease death thing, and when he came back, he just went, lol, JK, he's kind of a douche. Great pyromane, though. What, you mean WM1? <laughs> Anyone can be good at WM1. I love that these, uh, this, this insult is still, still exists. Um, I guess I'll use Doom instead. I'll show that one. It's a bit a bit of a spicy one. I, I don't know. I don't know who this person is at all. So, it seems weird kind of dunking on them, but... Kind of bad game design, not gonna lie. What are you talking about? Which part? Me killing my own character? No, it makes a lot of sense. I just I wasn't paying attention. You know, these zero the zero gear, zero steam generating cards are in some ways worse to me than just like ones that cost steam cuz it's it's it, it just kind of sucks using them. I know there's there's no point to that, but I just wanted to get him out of my hand. I mean, memeing aside, Skechik was so good that when he faked his own death, Valve remade the extinguisher and gave it effect literally called Skechik's bequest. What? He, they removed the name. Wow, you know, there's nothing more strange than honestly finding out that a person exists and then also finding out that they're problematic in a weird way. Faking your own death, that's that's a weird one. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know how I feel about that, but um, it's just, like, very strange. I know I didn't heal Copernica. I was kind of hoping I could heal her now. Like, I don't, I don't want to use up my... Oh god, I don't have any healing right now. Okay. Please, please don't kill her. We get a combo off at the very least, so maybe we can get through this. Please don't kill her. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we still need some healing. Please, please give us some healing. There's no healing here, though, actually. Oh, you know what? There is because I have the new move that gives us healing. Okay, we actually might be okay now. Break down. Oh, look at that. Saved her life. S saved her life. Look at that. Um, this is better. It's better. 
than trying to make the twins work right now. Recycling bosses at the end and adding some story to the characters, which they could have done. Yeah, I mean, I understand not liking it. It's uh, pretty par for the course for a JRPG, though. I know it's not JRPG, but you know what I mean. It's, it's not uncommon. Also, like, I'm not taking advantage of the arena. So even if I wasn't doing this, I'd still be, like, fighting other bosses I've already fought before. Um, well, there's all the healing. That's cool. Really, really fun. I should probably still do some healing. Let's do some healing. This way it saves me having to do it next time. They removed his the name of the the effect after you. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty funny. And they say that Valve does nothing for the TF2 community. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna generate two steam and then we're gonna mend Copernica. There we go. Perfect. Marked target. Don't you mark my target. Uh, then we're gonna poison. Can we actually cycle? Oh, that sucks. Shoot. All right, well, this this sort of works. Me equals sad. Uncommon bad game design is still bad. That's fair. I I, I can I can uh, understand that. I guess for me, I'm kind of okay with it because like. I don't know, like, yeah, reusing assets is, uh, you know, not as interesting as fighting new bosses, but, like, it would basically be the same thing again. Like, if they just had new sprites for the same bosses. I'm still, I'm still just playing more of the game. It's contrived, but I, I, I it, does, it doesn't really bother me too much. There you go. Take Kirby games. They have boss rematches, but the bosses are much tougher. When they learn new cool tricks and such, here they are just uh, black shapes. True. Yeah. No, that's that's true. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna. Oh, right, there, there we go. There, that's what I want. Oh, I should have blindsided the other one. My bad. Sorry. Ugh. What did Mimesis? <laughs> there, there. Your favorite YouTube uh, YouTuber is a hack, but don't worry about it. That's me. I'm the hack. Turns out I'm actually very bad at Caves of Cud. I'm just playing these cards to get rid of them. And also doing a full heal would be kind of nice. Yeah, there we go. Solid. And now we kill. Oh, I guess this is going to hurt Copernica. It won't kill her this time, though. We'll do quite a bit of damage, though. Ow. Almost half her health. Jeez. My favorite YouTuber is a hack? Warlockracy is not a hack. Um... Weird segue into something political. Hey guys. How do you feel about swallowing bees? <laughs> what? Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, that's because it's Canadian politics. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. My provincial whatever minister of who cares swallowed a bee. He's a hack. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If you made a rematch but gave the boss new attacks. Yeah, that'd be cool. The guild heroes. I've got to save them. The what? Oh, they're, they're not real though. Where did they go? Any reason you face planted that wall? But the guild heroes, I saw them as clearly as I saw you. I wonder if, like, touching those memories actually makes the boss stronger or something. Hey, it's the dragon from the cave where we saved the guild. Rather, a retrospector showing itself in a more tangible form. I liked it better when I couldn't see it. You beat it last time, Millie, let's do it again. Do, do, do. So, is the dragon a creature? Did we do this already? Like, is it a creature? Look at that, I get to blindside poison it right away. Solid. Does Canada have a bottle deposit return scheme? What if you put a bee in a bottle and then return them both? Will it impact your deposit? It will de probably impact your deposit in that the person, uh, like, returning, like, l giving you the money will then not give you the money. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will just, you know, call it there. I don't think they're gonna- I don't think they're gonna give you the- your deposit on the bottle back if it has a B inside. You know, they gotta clean those bottles out, you know? Um, actually I think this is better. Yeah, that's 1500 damage. And it also doesn't use as much steam. Like Ford is so used up that he has to eat bees just to feel anything at all. Doug Ford is just so used to... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I have nothing. He's just, uh, you know, he's always got his mouth open. So the bees just fly right in. I, I, got, I, I got nothing. I'm not good at dunking on people. I'm not, I'm not a good dunker, you know? But, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm gonna move on from this. He swallowed a bee. Good. That's, that's all I have to say. So much for the tolerant left. Who said it was tolerant? What an absolute garbage take. I am very intolerant, in fact. Spent his whole shit life chasing the dragon. Uh... Yeah. Remember when Toronto was on the map for a moment because... Uh, actually, I won't bring that up. Never mind. Never mind. We had a mayor, is all I'll say. We had a mayor at one point, and they were very famous. So, I'm actually not doing okay. Uh, I should be able to kill them here, though. Very lucky draw there that uh, will let me win. Yeah, nice. Couldn't the stinger get caught in your throat? I don't know. One can only hope. <laughs> if it would only be better if Doug Ford was allergic to bees. <laughs> How? What happens if you are allergic to bees and you swallow a bee? Do you do you break out in hives? How many defeated dragons go into a one guild membership? Those jerk, uh, guild jerks can't hold a candle to you. Read every comment but mine. My favorite YouTuber is a hack. Warlocracy is not a hack. What? Hey, Deuce. Holy Deuce, I just checked, and Skechik literally turned off the comments in his new videos because so many people were calling him out. I'm sorry, I missed it. Sometimes that happens. If, if you let me know, in a kind way, in a kind way, in a kind way, that I missed your comment, I will certainly go back and check. Let's grab that key and get back to the locked door. Hives. Wouldn't the stinger, uh, spend his, you know, I read them all. I, I, I really, I do check, and sometimes I end up reading a comment more than once. Uh, because I am, I am very fastidious about it. That's not the right word, but it's a good word. I think you'll agree. Fastidious. Find your center. Big is purposely not reading any mention of Rob Ford's name. I don't even really want to mention his name, to be honest. 
Oh, shoot. I did not take a moment to recover. Damn it. Uh, can we recover right now? It doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, we can. A little bit. Uh, it's gonna be touch and go. But we can. Maybe that comment was shadow banned? It can't be shadow banned because I, uh... I can see the shadow banned comments now. No! Why did you have to f attack Copernica? Now this is gonna take forever. <sighs> Damn it. All right, look, look, see, see, Kevbo, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing virulence. Let's see, see, do you see? I'm, do, I'm doing it, I'm doing it correctly. Break down. Stupefy. Do 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 do. Um. This looks pretty good I guess well, well we'll I'll do a little bit of a heal shadow band in bimple subconscious you mean well you'll get uh, retromancied back and I'll have to fight your comment in a future episode <laughs> so funny <laughs> oh geez karma why did you have to show your ugly face Do 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 This is not good. <laughs> um I think I should actually maybe use some stuff. I I know this sucks, but I, I don't think I have a choice. Cause I don't know when the last time I healed all was. I hate to get political, but politics are stupid. You said it, I'm a tan. Honestly. There we go. Don't worry, that reference went over my head. Uh, his brain subconsciously slides his eyes right over every mention of Rob Ford and replaces it in his memory with Tim Hortons. I don't know why I would do that. I don't like Tim Hortons any better than Rob Ford. I just... I just drink it because I have a problem. <laughs> I know a game you would like. It's called Hunt Down the Freeman Part 2. You're lying. You're lying. That doesn't exist. Don't 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 get my hopes up like this. Don't don't tell me that. Okay, um we can actually do something here if I'm careful. Please. Okay, okay, that, that, that works. Perfect. One time I got Tim Horton's coffee and was playing games back at home. I smealed... <laughs> I smealed burnt toast and actively wondered if I was having a stroke, but it turns out their coffee just smells weird. Uh, well, the question is, do you take your coffee black, Ben? Tim Horton's coffee was not, not made to be taken black. Tim Horton's coffee is so horrendous that the only way to enjoy it is basically with like a heart attack's amount of cream and sugar. You be, like when it, it when your coffee has the consistency and like sucrose levels of a cheesecake, then you know it's ready to be consumed. Mmm, delicious! I love it so much. Do, 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 do. Sorry, sorry, Kevbo. We're doing this. Sorry. Oh no, never mind. We're not doing that. Yeah, we are doing that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> this one's gonna extra piss people off because uh, there's no reason to do it here. Wait, did it just not land at all? Does it only hurt if it's if they're poisoned? Let me see here. 
As arcane damage to all- Oh yeah, it doesn't actually do any damage if they're not poisoned. Didn't know that. I thought it just did more damage if they were poisoned. Weird. Okay. Well, good to know. I won't do that anymore. Negative seven dollars. <laughs> uh, justified. For sure. Um, but, 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 but I have to do it here. See? See, I have to. I'm justified. It's just like that show, Justified, with Timothy Oliphant. I like that show. That was a good show. Do, 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 God, stop it. I hate that. That move's stupid. Stupid move, I hate it. Bad move, dumb. Yummy coffee. He didn't even know it only hurts poison foes and he was wondering why it was driving me nuts. I thought it did more damage against poison foes. I mean, I've been doing okay not knowing that. <laughs> I hate that. Stop ruining my combos. Stop it. Oh my god. Why can't I do that one? Hero disabled. Excuse me? What? That doesn't make sense. I'm using one of her cards. Why is the why is the hero disabled? Uh, I guess they can only do one thing per turn. Maybe that's it. Got to microwave my iced coffee. I just have to try. It. Don't do it. I didn't actually microwave my coffee. It was an illusion. <laughs> do not do as Bimple does. Do as he says. Pimple says microwaved iced coffee is no. I didn't actually do it. Stop it. Who's constantly honking outside? I don't know. One of my neighbors. Someone who is trying to get the attention of someone else who is not very attentive. Now that looks a bit campy. Who's the kneeling lily white? That Lily White is Grand Knight Lewis, Leos, the founder of the Temperance of Lux Ultima. Depicted as they embrace the sacred light of uh, Algaron. Lore! Yay, looks like a stiff bunch of blue noses to me. I cannot argue with that. The upside of Quick Fix for Galio is that it heals status effects too. And Copernica's basic attacks were okay. But she had a status effect that didn't let her use steam attacks. Oh, Okay. Gotcha. Oh, is this one of them puzzles? One of the- one of them famous uh, Steam World quest puzzles in which I have to go around in circles and press this thing lots of times and- Oh, that looked like I solved it. <laughs> This sucks. There we go, that's better. There we go, much better. Nah, let's just uh, generate some steam. Coffee, I guess, and some political stuff. I'm back. Any more fun, controversial topics come up while I was gone? I was talking about Tim Horton's coffee. <coughs> hey, look Look at this move, guys. Isn't this a good move? That's a really good one, right? Are you proud of me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> kind of looks like I can only do that, actually. Um, it's not looking too good right now. I kind of I don't want to use this, but I don't really have much option. Yeah, seven. <laughs> 
coffee subscription canceled so hard I actually have to pay Kevbo out. Yo, what is this garbage right now? Love this. Love this where I don't get to do anything. <laughs> What, what is this status effect that means that you can't do anything ever? Hate it. Isn't quick fix a steam move also? Just, you know, asking for a friend. Uh, when was the last time I saved? I feel like I haven't been to a save spot in quite a long time. Well, that's the... That's the uh, twins dead. Very good. I'm not enjoying this fight right now, I have to say. Stores cha charge too much. People who go to Starbucks might as well have a drinking drug problem considering how much it costs. I love to... Oh, cool. I, uh, that, that's a really nice combo I can't use. And also, we're disabled again. This is dumb. I'm sorry, I hate this. I can't do anything right now. Silence from JRPGs, you can't use spells. Yeah, but like, all of my moves are spells. So it's the, you can't do anything move, ever. It's annoying. It's, it's like... I'm not gonna rebuild my entire hero's deck to, to navigate around this move, because it's... Like, it, it just cuts all of my moves in half. And I'm out of recovery items, and I don't know when I last saved, so now this team is basically going to hard stop me and negate the last hour of work. So I will say I'm less than pleased about this. Screw it. We're using moon juice. I don't care. Um, I will use some smelling salts as well. I, I, I don't care. She still died. Fun. Love this. I actually, like, can't do anything at all. Um, so I guess the last hour of, of effort is, is just gone now? Like, I, I don't have any recovery and, and we're done now. Really cool and fun. Not even going to try now, at this point. Do, like, all of their moves also inflict that status? It seems to me I've had that status every single turn in this, in this, uh, combat. So, how, how long ago is this? Uh, where am I? Uh, I, feel like I straight up don't know where I am right now. Okay, we're gonna try and avoid combat for a moment. Is this the guy I just fought? No, it's not. It's someone else. Uh, well, I might have beaten this today, but that one 100% set me back. I get raw processed beans from a roaster and roast them myself in this oven, in the oven, and that saves a lot of money. Uh, you do put towards your drinking problem. I have one of the unique boss songs from Library Rena because it's a banger, and I got my butt kicked so many times I got it stuck in my head. You have to add the person's name in your comment. How do you tag my name? I seem to only have block or move when I click the thing. Pre preliminary results look promising. No header. What? Gonna microwave my iced coffee. Did you actually do it? Did not heed my advice directly after having said they were gonna they were gonna uh, microwave their iced coffee.
shoot. Yeah, we're, we're back in this nonsense again. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's not good, but um, at least it poisons everyone. Taste is muted. Weird aftertaste. Overall completely palatable. <laughs> Actually did it. Cannot believe it. Um, all right, we're gonna try some stuff here. There we go. That's what we want. Can I? I can't use my spells out of combat to, uh, like heal, right? I think I've already- I, I'm probably asked that right at the beginning of this entire campaign. So if I could go to Galio... Yeah, I, I don't see any way of doing that. Okay. So I have to use spells in combat. Kinda wanna just avoid combat, so that I can fast forward through this. I guess it wasn't that long ago. I have to do this complicated uh, puzzle again though. Oh no. What do I do? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna try and avoid this next combat. <sighs> okay, no way to avoid that combat, I guess. Unless I get obscenely lucky. Uh, and there, I really don't think there's any way we can avoid those guys doing their spell. Like, it doesn't feel like I can do it. So... Like, I, I have only have the one blind side right now, so I'd rather do a combo and try and kill one of them. If I could kill one of them, that would be ideal. Oh, there we go. That might actually help a lot. Yeah, they just inflicted on the twins. That's very good. So that's the twins completely done. Um, I don't think there's a re really much point in poisoning. I'll try it anyway, but actually, let's do a mend on Copernica. Just caught up to the death. Can't say I didn't try my best. I did try my best. Been a while since we had a Galio um, combo. All right, here we go. Die, hate you. Nice. All right, we're good. We're good. Super chilled take. TikTok is the most unsatisfactory thing to ever plague this globe that we inhale and exhale gases as we shift as our position in space-time on. Unsatisfactory, huh? Yeah, that, that makes sense. I don't know. I have nothing really against TikTok. I think that, um, I don't know, I, I'm interested in this, like, idea that very short, um, like, short, uh, media is kind of, like, destroying people's attention span. But it's a weird thing because, like, it's, it's an interesting idea and it does make sense, but also it kind of sounds like old man yells at Cloud. So on one hand, I'm like, yeah, that kind of does make sense. Um, but also, are you sure you just don't like it because you don't understand it? Like, uh, wh wh like what? What's happening there? What? Wh what's the? What is the uh, logic looking like? What is the the reasoning? Nice. We did it. We beat the combat, and we're all at full health.
I think like I don't think it's a deliberate thing. Like I've heard this like, take that um, you know companies are deliberately trying to uh, limit people's attention span so that they don't think beyond like a five second sound bite. I don't think I I don't know if I agree with that necessarily because it, I think it's just driven by like a lot of things. It's just more more money driven. What is there to not understand about TikTok? A lot of things. The the culture around it, the you know reasoning. Like, there's a lot of ways to look at TikTok and like I don't get like why did this person make this video? Uh, why why are other people liking it? Why is this person got a bazillion subscribers? What did they do that's necessarily like super cool or good? Like, there's a lot of ways in which you can inter- see TikTok and not understand the the like absolutely ridiculous amount of uh attention it gets like it's basically the most popular social media platform ever like it's like all other social media platforms combined do not equal tiktok so there's a lot to not understand about that you know i'm not saying i don't understand it i'm not saying i care to really but it's you know i'm i'm also a boomer at this point if it makes money, it will be done. True. Finally, something nice. Found a moon juice. Juice brewed from body parts. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's just move on to chest number two. More moon juice. What are you on about? Another retrospector. Yeah, either that or he's completely lost it. Moon juice times 12. Oh, scrap, no. I don't see anything. Hard to tell, really. Oh my god. <laughs> Moon juice times 138. Whatever it is, just get it over with so we can go, go on. I think I'm gonna be sick. Very good. I wonder how many moon juice I'll have, if any. I can almost feel the taste again. Oh! Yo, we did it! Check your inventory now, big, after opening those chests. A hundred and fifty-six. Incredible. Can I sell those? Yeah. We just fought you. Definitely a retrospector. Good thing I was starting to think he'd really gone bug nuts. Let's hurry up and fell this thing before any more of that uh, moon juice shows up. Ooh, look at that opening hand. That is a good opening hand if ever I saw one. That is a beautiful opening hand. Love that. Tried to make a chill take spicy. Was it chill though? I don't know. Um, here, this is what we're gonna do. Fixer, blindside, virulence. I uh, honestly, I have not gotten sick of this song at all. I still love it. I wonder, is the last boss gonna have some like cool endgame music? Yo, when the last boss of the game has some, like, fire music, so good. Um, no, this isn't really what you want to see. So we're just going to focus on raising our steam a, a bit. Is it still poisoned? No, it's not. Shoot. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, he's not blind anymore either. All right, well, let's do this. It's not a great move, but it's something. I guess I could have poisoned some of the arms as well. You'll have to forgive me for not doing that. The arms are like totally pointless to even hurt. I understand I could have poisoned them and then it would have done something, but look, he just like removes them and resummons them. So it's, it's like completely pointless. This kind of this is kind of unfortunate. I could have done a combo there, but again, it doesn't matter because it's just going to poison all of them. So the combo actually doesn't help me that much. People seem to have shorter and shorter attention spans. TikTok feeds off of that. I don't think that it feeds off that. I think it's partially the cause of that. It's like it's a it's a it's a cycle thing, you know. You know. It's it's an unint in unintended feature. <laughs> Last game didn't have one not one not much confidence in that one chief. What? The more you understand, the worse it gets. Oh, you're talking about TikTok. Stay down, you bud of a birch. Was that all? Are we done with these daymares now? Are we done with these daymares? Is there one more? Oh, we're fighting all of them at once. Our heroes found themselves facing a um, magically spinning vortex. The retrospectors must have overindulged on the Necronomicog's influence. Trippy. So how do we get rid of this thing? A focused and cleansing cog cogitation? Cogitation should obl obliterate it. You want us to clear our minds? Quite. Pull, put all experiences on parade before our mind's eye and let them wander out into the realm of oblivion. Wait, they understood that? My head feels empty. Biting my lip here, but I feel it too. It would seem that the retrospectors have vanished. Funny that Oiko... Oikos didn't didn't have any retrospectors. Then let's continue. I guess he's Mr. Mantra, you know, uh, Gelatos, you know. Oh, is there is is Wheelie Dude finally gonna join our team? Oh, am I glad to see you bunch. Look, I know we've had our differences and all, but I've been locked up here since ever since. Ha! Uh, huh, I'm not falling for this again. I suppose there can be some slight. N mnemonic lingering for a short period of time. Yeah, screw you, you boogeyman. Wow. I thought they were heroes. What? Hey, where are you going? Come back. I like how the bird had, like, a panicked look on its face. Everyone who uses TikTok is literally frightening. They just zone out and swipe. They're literally the end result of what boomers claim the kids would be. Don't agree with the boomers. Don't do that. The Hand of Gilgamech. We finally made it, lads. I'm talking about how there was no final boss Chapter theme in the last eight. Steam World game you streamed. The but there was. Wasn't there? I thought there was. They think he's a shadow copy. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. They thought he was a, an illusion. That's really funny. I didn't actually... I didn't get that. Um, I'm going to buy a few revive kits. I think that would be a good idea. Five should be enough. I'm going to buy a few repair potions. I don't need the full ones because we've got Galio. And let's see if we can upgrade anything. We can upgrade Blindside. Now we'll use Smoldering Embers, though. Do, do, do. Heals one ally and cures Poison, Bleed, and Burn conditions. If I upgrade this... Oh, upgrade to increase healing. So this doesn't even remove that one uh, ailment. You're 
that that was like causing me all that problem. I could upgrade mend. Mmm, it's eh. upgrade burning desire would be an idea. Ooh, we could upgrade scroll fragment or fire pillar. I really like fire pillar and a searling lash would actually be really good. Ooh. Mm. It raises Copernicus fire damage by one grade for three turns. Uh, I don't know how that's better. Improve helpful effect. Is it just does it just upgrade the combo? Because I don't think that's helpful at all to me. I think Oryx's healing ability is the one that cures Berserk. Uh, I'm going to upgrade Searing... Uh, I really want to upgrade Fire Pillar, to be honest. Because it's like 60 extra damage. And then with the extra fire um, bonus, that's just like... this. You get the most bang for your buck from Fire Pillar. And against a boss, that's likely to do a lot. So I'm going to do that. I have 41 scrolls left, so we might be able to upgrade something else. Yeah, so if I buy 20 scrolls, I can upgrade something else, but let's have a look. Maybe there's something else worth... Um, your duration on blindside I don't think is worthwhile because I cast it a lot. So not not really a huge thing. Um, siphon mine, no available upgrades. No available upgrades, interesting. Well, what about Raven? We could do Raven. Raven's a pretty good spell. And we can upgrade Virulence. Perfect. What do we need for the... for? No more available upgrades. Wow, that's it. One star, that's it. Uncontrolled Rage sounds good. Uh, 250 times 5. And then if we have increased... Uh, that's tempting, but I, I like the combo with, um, Poison. Ooh, Epidemic. Oh, Epidemic could be really good, actually. Why have I not been using that card? Um, let's go ahead and buy some materials. We're gonna buy some Scroll Fragments, 20 of them. Really wish I could just hold it. Really wish I didn't have to... Actually, you know what I wish is it would just, like, l let me buy the card and then spend a bit of money automatically uh, buying the components. That's what I wish. So we could do Flame Wave. We could do Fire Pillar again. Look at that. That's another almost 30 damage. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. Um, what can we sell? We could sell all of our weapons. I'm assuming this is the last store before, like, the last boss. Oh, we can sell the moon juice. Okay, buckle in, guys. I'm about to tap this button about 100 times. No, there wasn't. It was just default alien bot battle on the team. Really? Um... I have to take you guys by your word about TikTok. I don't know anyone who's younger enough to use it. Okay, I mean, I'm not getting a lot of money for each of these, but for all of them, 780, that's not bad. I can sell all of this stuff. Ooh, this, oh, I didn't equip my stuff. I had all this equipment to use and I wasn't using it. No bleed, health plus 35. Let's uh, see what we got here. Grant a 12% chance to inflict a random sta status condition when dealing damage. Might be good for someone else. Snake charm to inflict poison. We want that on, yeah, we're gonna go kind of glass cannon with um, Copernica. So she'll possibly inflict poison with her attacks. She does a lot of attacking, so that's a good, good one for her. Uh, Galio is gonna affect a random st when dealing damage. 
We might honestly want to put that also on Copernica. Mm, the Meteor Fragment is probably very good for her, so I'll keep that on. But um, we do do a lot of damage, doo-doo, uh, with Terra and Thane, so maybe... Maybe Pandora Box for them would be good. Plus 50% uh, health from the Platinum Bracer is no slouch. But maybe power... No, this is not really worth it. I kind of like what they got going on right now. Mm. Yeah, I, I think that we're, we're pretty good here. Let's uh, sell some more stuff. Uh, let's sell... I won't sell the Zephyr Cape. I might want to ba like back up on that. But, oh right, Death Chime. Why didn't it show me the Death Chime in my accessories? I wanted to equip that. Oh, it scrolls, oops. Heals the wear for 8% of their maximum health whenever a foe is scrapped. Hmm, interesting. That's actually really good and it gives us extra magic as well. Or just extra arcane power. We might want to have both of these on there. More arcane power is what we want. So what we got rid of Pandora's box. Can we put that on Copernica? We could have uh, Pandora's box on there instead of the snake charm. But the snake charm is just more good. I think. Okay, so we, we forgo Pandora's box, but I think this is better overall. Okay, now we're gonna sell some stuff. So I'm gonna sell Journeyman. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the like badges that are not great. Um we could sell some of this stuff if I wanted. Uh and I want to buy just a ton more scroll fragments. I think what what did I do, Kevbo? What's wrong? What's, what's up? I did it wrong again? I don't have enough to... to oh, that's, I need 20 more. We should upgrade this if it uses a trash meum. Because I guess it doesn't... It just doesn't matter. So that's fine. Did he sell the weapon he bought before? Probably. The weapon they have now is the weapon I want to keep. I'm sure there are cards to craft as well, like Inferno might be good, but it's also very expensive to play. So I'm kind of good. Grants one ally a chance to inflict venom or poison with physical attacks. It's kind of interesting, but I don't have enough to make it. It's fine. I, I like what I've got going on right now. You haven't been equipping your items. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, okay, so there's some, uh, something here that I wanted to use. Right, Epidemic. So I think instead of one siphon mind, I'll put in Epidemic. Actually, no, instead of Doom, I'll put in Epidemic. That will be good. Epidemic should be good because it'll spread poison. Like, I can use Galio's Poison Epidemic in the same turn, spread poison to everyone, and then maybe even Virulence in the same turn. I think that'll be really good. I could take it one Siphon Mine and a Raven Strike, but I already feel like I'm I'm using... Like, this This requires too much uh, steam to, to play this deck. I'd almost like to take out something of uh, Galio's... Like, maybe a blindside. We don't need two blindsides, I think. And then we'll put in, like, a lunacy. No, no, lunacy's dumb. Um, I want something that generates steam. Maybe abs of steel. No, I'm just going to put the blindside back. All right. Okay. Pure praise bureaucracy. 
I, it isn't very chilly all of a, isn't it very chilly all of a sudden? We are outside. I'm not talking about that kind of cold. This feels more... Well, well, if it isn't the grocer's daughter. Reckless night. What's going on? You should have learned your place by now, with your low-born background and all. No wonder the guild didn't warn you. Loser. Hey, who do you think you are? And here's the black sheep of the alchemic society. No, that's not true. So clever, always thinking she knows better than everyone else. But still never li lived up to anyone's expectations. Here's the doppelganger arc. Pathetic. Yo, dimwit, leave her the heck alone. Finally, the brooding hermit. Hey, don't call me that. Always pushing people away before they can leave you. Hiding in your mother's basement sounds like a solid future. Yo, what? I never noticed he had a bird on his shoulder. But she must be just as tired of you as we are. Reject. Also bad game design that you just have two teammates that just hang in the back of the party and don't get XP. Meh. I, I, I already said my piece on that part. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna open up with a nice old combo. That's gonna generate quite a lot of steam. Hey, they they don't have the same card composition as I do. Um, now, if I could get myself that epidemic, that would just be oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Poison, Epidemic, and then Virulence. Do you think this will work? Probably we should not uh, try it. We'll do Mystic Gift instead, and then I'll save the Virulence, just to see how this works. It does work. I should have done it. Um, we can do Virulence twice, though. Look at that. Amazing. Place your bets on how long it takes Big to realize each of the three enemies' damage immunities. You mean they don't get poisoned? They look like they're poisoned. I'm de definitely hitting them pretty hard. Uh, let's try and get rid of Copernica first. I'm assuming she's going to be immune to fire, maybe? Resist, yeah. Still, you might be resistant, but you, you know, you're, still, you're still taking damage. Get, get poison back on there. Generating lots of steam. Look at that. 2,000 damage. Can't argue with that. Uh-oh. Twins are about to get kill, though. Um, I would really like to do Copernica's moveset here. But I really do need to... Hmm... I do need to heal the twins. Okay, this works. I'm gonna... Who's not blindsided? Can't tell. They're already shadowy, so it's hard to tell if they're blindsided. Since you technically already experienced it, Armelie is immune to all fire damage. You tried to attack her with Copernica. Oh. That's weird. Well, we're gonna kill Copernica right here, I think. Even though she's resistant. Yeah. No, she's still still alive. Still kicking. Ouch. Damn it. Stop healing her. Okay, we get that poison back. 
sucks having to use this on a, you know, with a, on a character that only has 200 health left, but that's fine. We kill Copernica. Poison everyone. Okay, so our melee is, um, well, our melee has been taking steady damage from that poison. So that's kind of nice. Should we do a heal? Let's do a heal. Just to get rid of these cards, and there's n there's no downside to healing, re really. We're just up, and we also get that physical uh, buff. Okay, so we're gonna have to do our fire attacks to um, Galio. Should do some nice damage to him. Does uh, the flaming reaction, is it random? Who it, who it gets struck by? Okay, we're gonna do epidemic on him to spread that poison. Then we'll do the uh, siphon and then virulence. We could just do two virulence though. Let's do two virulence. I think that's still more damage. And I spread the fire as well. So that's our melee dead maybe? No. Ugh, the poison happens after the facts. That's kind of dumb. All right, so this is the end here. Is green light still a thing? No, no, that was done away with years ago. Steam needs a section called the bargain bin and shove all the crap games that are obviously garbage. Lol, dunking on early access again. What is this, 2015? We did it, they're gone. Guys. Uh. You won't leave me, right? What? Never. Remember what I told you at summer camp? Carry my bags? No, silly. We're a team, for better or worse. Yes, no matter what, we've always got each other's bags. Hey, are you crying? Of course not! It's just really windy up here. Having battled their bleak inner hellions, our heroes pushed through. Strengthened in spirit and friendship. Uh, guys, I have to take a quick break for a second. I gotta go to the washroom. Um, is the next area like the boss? I'm a, I'm a BRB for just a moment. I'll be right back.
Your game is fire, and I'm hoping to buy it after the political stuff goes away. What? Okay, there we go. That wasn't a joke on you or anything. There are lots of good games in early access. This is the problem with making uh, sweeping statements on <laughs> on an entire thing, is that, uh, you know, there are definitely always going to be exceptions. There have been some really good games in early access. Pretty much every Zaktronics game has, ever has been in early access, and they're all pretty good. I say pretty good, but, like, they're all excellent. What's this strange feeling? I'm, like, feeling colder, but not on the outside. What are you gonna do? Whimper about it? Oh, more more shadows. What are you talking to me, jerk? So tough and edgy, thinking you're the daredevil who'll protect everyone. But all you do is suffocate the people you care for. That's not true. You let us get used by others, and I hate you. Uh, I hate you for always treating me like a hapless child. I don't mean to. Don't listen to them, sis. You are just in the way, dragging everyone else down. Can't you do anything yourself? You're just holding us back. But I don't want you to be disappointed. What are they are saying is not true. We all have... We have all seen that your bond is strong. Stand up to them. Are we just fighting the twins? What? That's weird. Uh, let's see if we can't make something better he happen here. Nope, never mind. Um, your game isn't garbage, I really like it. Yeah, I like your game, Jared. I want to give it a quality of life update. You have at least one more shadow fight to deal with, then you get to the boss of the area, then after that, the finale. Theoretically, you could beat this in like 45 minutes to an hour. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess this is uh, SteamWorld quest day. I do want to beat this. Not because I want to get it over with, but, um, you know, it's, it's just been kind of dragging a little bit. Oh, are they immune to... Are they immune to arcane damage? I think they are. Shoot. Okay. So that must mean they are not immune to fire, right? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, so... This guy is resistant. So good, love shadow fights. Totally immune to arcane damage. Jesus. This is why you swap party members in and out regularly. I mean, I'm still gonna win, so maybe you swap party members in and out regularly, but... I am 100% just going to strong arm this fight. Also, the siphon mind is still going to be beneficial. The one message I type with saltiness, you don't add salt. That's because I'm so sweet. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> what, what, what saltiness was I supposed to read in your message, I'm a 10? You said you love shadow fights. You should be really happy right now, because we're doing a lot of them as we, see, as we speak. 
So many? We're doing so many of them right now. Oh my god, the twins are dead. Okay. Well, well, at least we're gonna kill one of these twins. Please die. Oh my god. We might actually die here. Like, right here. Ugh. Well, at least the twin is dead. Okay, let's do um, a revive kit. That's why I bought them. And then we're gonna do two repair kits. Okay, then we're gonna do some uh, triple poison. Who also, are we really still doing Steam World? People left to to try and dodge the Steam World quest segment, came back, and it's still Steam World quest. <laughs> That's good. That's pretty good. Let's do that and that. We're almost done, guys. Just another hour of this. Thank God for items. Jesus, he hits really annoyingly hard. Let's just do this and this and this. Uh, Copernica. Last Steam World stream. It is the last Steam World stream. Even if I don't make it to the end, I'll just stop playing this game. Poggers. Yo, yo, Poggies. Wanted to beat it today, but, well, you know how we're... Yeah, this is the... People correctly predicted that this was how it's gonna go. But, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. Chat minds. I understand why, but, you know. At least we're all here. We're all together, and that's the important part. We're like a team, you know? Do. Do 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 do. Look at that. Swapping out party members is for nerds. Oh my god, he's still alive. God damn it. And I can't even heal. Eh. Yes. Just kill. Kill them. There you go. You can imagine big. Uh, I'm not gonna say that word. Like, before the finale of the game, right? He is so excited for Ruina that he's gonna finish it today. Rat says hi. <coughs> You're all I have left, and if something were to happen to you... I let you take the lead all the time. You were always so strong. But don't forget, you can always lean on me when you need to. Heartfelt moment. What's with this strong winds up here? What a terrible day for rain. It's not raining. Yes, it is. Do we have one more shadow fight? With Oikos? Oh my god. Your determination is admirable. Just be sure to replenish your inventory. Um, let's actually, let's buy some consumables. And actually, I will buy one repair elixir. There you go. Something's, te gonna, something's telling me that the shopkeeper is actually evil for some reason. It's time for us to be bored by Ruina, and you enjoy yourself for a few weeks. Oikos has a shadow fight. Damn it. Look at the stoic hero, so wise and self-assured. Always there for others, but never the main act. Nothing but parlor tricks. I am well aware of my supportive part. You think you know yourself so well, but you don't even know who you really are. You help this group face their foe. But as they reach their horrible demise, you will yet again stand on the sideline, hiding your true face. You are not destined for the legends. 
Uh, they're right, Orc. This is n not your destiny. It is ours, together as a group. To hell with stories and legends. Quite. Let us silence these deceptive phantoms. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and poison them all. Are these guys also, um, like, completely resistant to all of my good stuff? Oh jeez, that hurt a lot. Ouch. Uh, yeah, let's just do one of these. Get rid of a bunch of cards at once. Also generate some steam so that we can do a really good twins move. Oh no. Status effects. So this has a chance to heal others now. Like the enemy. Wow, I'm just not getting twin cards right now at all. I need to go again. I hate, love hate work. They all have different move sets. Well, we're almost done with one of them. Uh, I know... Hmm. Which one of these is the magic one? I don't know. We're just I'm just gonna hit one of them randomly. Immune! I picked the one that was immune to, to magic. Cool. There we go. Um, actually, there's like no reason to do that. Actually, there is a reason. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a blind sight. Are they already blind? No, they're not. We'll do a blind and then we'll do an epidemic to ensure that they all are poisoned and blind, and then we'll virulence. Total Eclipse. I just did, I just got another achievement, but also the twins are dead. Alright, alright, that's good. Very good. Let's uh, go ahead and revive them. And then we're gonna go ahead and... Why can't I revive them and then have them do stuff? That's silly. Alright, we'll do a Miracle Worker. Um, okay. Alright. Yeah, this is annoying. Um, alright, let's just do... ...this, and then we can maybe kill one of these guys. Yes, perfect. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of that... ...chime accessory on the twins, because... ...I, I realize that... ...healing whenever I kill a bot isn't actually that helpful right now. Um... Considering there's not generally a lot of numbers, like, it's mostly just bosses from here on out. So there's not a lot of kills, and therefore there are not, there's not a lot of heals. Okay, let's do, let's do a healing session here. The movesets are based on Oryx masks, the jelly face is the healer, the demon face is the magic thunder guy, and the Oni Ori face is the attacker. I get that they all probably have different stats and such, but it's funny to see... It's funny to me. So is this guy, um... Oh, this guy is not immune to, to arcane? Fantastic. This should do a nice chunk of damage. Uh, did that do nothing to them? Oh, they weren't poisoned. God damn it. <gasps> God. Just shoot. Alright, let's do a heal. I think more, yeah, and more HP on the twins would be good. That's what I got rid of on them.
He seems to heal after every attack. That noise Big just made. <laughs> oh, this guy's kind of annoying, isn't he? Um, I'll blind him. He's almost dead. He probably will die right here. There you go. Do, 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 do. It, it is true, I have had my doubts about our chance of success. But victorious or not, we have to see this through to the very end. And doing it together is our only chance. Snivel, let's go find Gil Gilgamec already. Gilgamec. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, Death Chime replaced with Platinum Bracer. Do we have another save point? Uh oh, have I made a mistake? No, I haven't. Okay, cool. This is it, lads. And and uh, what's the what's the the um, gender equivalent of lads for l l lades? Lades, <laughs> like ladies? I don't know. Games up, Gilgamesh. We won't let you make that awake uh, that monster. Frog dude is just so done with everything. True. If you will not heed my words, all I have left is my blade. So I'm assuming we're going to fight Gilgamesh. And then they're going to awaken the behemoth and then we're going to have to fight that as well. Finally we see eye to eye. You know I always preferred action over words. We do not always agree on the best way to solve the problem. But awaking the behemoth is beyond reckless, even by your standards. Reckless, little old me, killed that beast before, and I will do it again. But I'll tell you what, if your pitiful troop feels destiny beckoning, take a step forward. A fair fight against the true ancient hero. Ah, oh, how cute. Well, my joints could use some limbering up. I will not stand down. I would be disappointed if you did. Lassie? Lads and lass. That's actually pretty good. Are there any lasses in chat that uh, object to that one? I guess I should have gotten rid of Epidemic, huh? I would have been better off with a different spell. We're just gonna do a nice old buff for everyone. And debuff for the enemy. Um, hmm, let's get rid of one of these. Oh, here's some new music. This is pretty good. Last is good. Have there ever been any girls in jet? Sorry, grills. I think that grills is probably not great. I think, uh, I think there are. Have. I will admit that uh, a lot of my audience base is male. That's not something that I've tried to do, though. Poison, blindside, and then uh, we'll start doing some twin moves next turn. Boss music. Hmm, boss music. I like it. We're, we're kind of taking them out right now. Taking them out to dinner. Yo! Oh, they're not poisoned! Jesus. And they're not blindsided either, okay. Uh, alright. I gotta do that, unfortunately. Alright, it's buff time. 
Miss! Miss! Okay, next turn is gonna be great, because he's gonna be poisoned, and I have the steam to do two virulence and a siphon. Oh, yeah, look how much he missed! Oh my god. Wait, did he fully heal? When did he do that? Yo <laughs> got cut off by Gilgamesh using warmed up and canceling everything. How, how do I make him not do that? Wait, what? Oh, they can't be healed. So that, that entire turn was t completely pointless. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Cool, yes, good. Love that. Love that. Love that. Nice. Miss your move. Love that. Good. I should have rearranged my deck a little bit. I admit it's not really uh, up to up to par right now. Bosses can heal trope. Chad is being merciless to this game today. <laughs> I don't I don't blame them. It's been uh, three hours of Steam World Quest. That's a lot of any game, so I can understand kind of. Uh, the game rubbing them the wrong way a little bit. Okay, um, I can't unfortunately do two men's. Unless I do this first and then I can. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, god damn it, I have that stupid status effect up. So that was a complete waste of time and now, uh, Copernica is dead. Alright, or we're gonna recover Copernica. This is fine. I, I I took those for a reason. Let's just make sure that he's he continues to be blind. When you were giving your big yo, he used the warm up card and fully healed. I think he only does it once because he's now warmed up and ready to fight. I mean, it's cool, but also I hate it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this to get rid of these and also a, a very slight heal. Is he still blind? Yeah, he is. Cool. All right. I won't lie, it's not looking good, but he's almost dead, so there is that. We have a virulence. Can we do this, this, and let's try and take him out right here. Take him out to dinner, yo, yo. <laughs> Deals physical damage to one foe based on the active hero's combined strength and heals all allies based on their combined magic. Do 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 do. Look at all of the stuff. I mean, it was three v one. Actually, technically four v one. Enough of this warming up. You've been useful sparring partners, but just stay here for now. I have a corrupt world to reshape. <laughs> Jeepers, my head feels like it's burning on the inside. I really hate when he does that. You look like I feel. 
Ouch. Quickly now, I said I would not stand down. We need to pursue him. Is there going to be a save point? With the with the shop? I'm not saying this game is bad because of it. I'm just acknowledging the fact that the boss heals. <laughs> True. Fair. Here we go, guys. This is it. Chapter 19. Behemoth. Behemoth. Yo, the music, though. <laughs> Very good. Yay! Through all this, you have managed remarkably. My only advice is that you go over if there's anything you need. Sensible and foreseeing as always. I have faith in all of you. Alright, um, let's rearrange your decks very slightly. I'm gonna take out Flame Wave and we're gonna put in another Fire Pillar. It's a good move. Um, that honestly, no notes. That's good enough. Uh, maybe we take out Epidemic, and we're gonna put in something else. Deals arcane damage to one foe whenever they take damage. Doom could be really good, actually. Let's do Doom. Anything here? Mm, maybe not as many blindsides, but I don't think there's anything else I would put in. Can we upgrade anything? We could upgrade blindside and then take one out. Upgrade to increase a dish. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's have a quick look at everything else before we do that, but I kind of want to do that. Uh, no, that's not great. Should we craft a card? I feel like we shouldn't. I like what I've got so far and I don't really want to change it. Grants one ally immunity to all sta status ailments. Random helpful effect and all foes a random harmful effect. This is actually really cool. But I don't know if I should try and uh, try something new. Grants one ally a chance to inflict poison with physical attacks. We could... Um, who does physical attacks? No one in our team, so never mind. Lowers one foe's arcane defense and strength. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds really good. Can we upgrade that? It looks like no. We need more foul liquid. It looks like we have one of every single craft. So we can do one for each person. Except I don't have enough scroll fragments. Big has gotten so far solely by abusing poison and virulence. Are you mad? <laughs> Um, Unshrouded Light, no, that's that's a that's an attack. We're gonna upgrade Fixer, I really like this card. And I'm pretty sure that's the, the main thing I'd like to- we're, we're gonna buy some uh, components also, materials. Let's buy some scroll fragments. Just like 10 for now. Do we- are there any ex- ooh. Uh, nah. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this one. 15,000! Yeah. What does it look like I'm made of money? What the- why would you make it 15,000? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm not doing that. Hey, are there any new upgrades? Maybe. Um, Hydro Fit. I don't think there are- any oh wait, this one's slightly better. Quivering Palm again. Lunar Arsenal. Better magic. Uh, yeah, this is much better magic. Eclipse. What is the move on this one? 
Deals damage, arcane damage to all foes. If the foe is affected by any status elements, the attack deals 90% mage instead. This could be a lot better because um, with... Well, hmm. Yeah, it could be fine because we're. I'm assuming we're only going to fight one boss. So doing damage to them instead of inflicting poison might be actually much better. And it also increases their magic. So how much would I have to sell to make this happen? Let's try and make this happen. I could sell some of my like big components. I know that uh, chat is probably going to hate me for that, but let's get rid of Death Chime. And Pandora's Box. And Power Booster. And then we can buy... Um, weapon... Da, 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 da. This is the one, right? No, that's not the one. What? Where is it? Oh, Lunar Arsenal. Game assumes you've been doing at least some of the arenas for prizes by this point. Also, I love all of the Zelda references here at the end. Fierce Deity's Bead, Fairy Ward. Oh, yeah. You might want to keep Group Poison, Cough, Cough. Oh. Well, okay, I could put Epidemic in. I'll put Epidemic back in, but I'm going to take this weapon instead because it does uh, group damage. Um, group the, the epidemic should make up for the fact that I don't have the uh, group poison combo, and I think overall this combo will do more for us. I'll take it one siphon mind and put in uh, epidemic. I think this is better. Hear me out. Um, I think that overall I'll do more group damage from a combo that does damage based on uh, the twins. Uh, magic, especially since I've got Siphon Mind and Mystic Gift, that'll just like up their magic damage. And I have Epidemic to make up for the group poison. And the thing is, is the group poison just it combos a lot and it makes the twins combo not very valuable. I have enough poison to make every you know, poison everyone, it's it's fine. I think this will be better. If you plan on using virulence, I think this will still work. Watch, watch me go. Let's see. Let's you know. Did anyone here play Monster Sanctuary? I have not. I have looked at it though. Beaten within an inch of your life, and still you want more. Do you really want to force me into finishing it? Enough already. You're not acting like a hero any longer. You act like a villain, a dark lord with an evil army. Going through this with this madness and waking the behemoth, it will, it will reduce your legend forever. No, it will rebuild it. Uh, I've been admiring you my whole life, trying to honor everything you stood for. People always laughed at me. They still do. Millie. It's okay, because deep down I probably always knew that I was following an impossible dream. The dream to be just like you, Gilgamec, the true ancient hero. I don't even know what heroism is anymore, but I do know that it's not about waking up the behemoth to inflate your own ego. We will try to stop you, and we'll keep trying until the last spark inside of us flickers and dies. You're right. You don't know what heroism is. Let's not waste any more time. Oh, we're fighting him again? I thought we were going to fight the behemoth. Good luck then, Biggie. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Good lord. Uh, oh, okay, this is fine. You know what? I'm going to poison him and mend instead. Ouchies! My god, what what is this? Um, hero disabled, really good, really good and fine and good. Everything is good, everything is fine. Everything is good and fine and good. Nothing is bad, 
Everything is good. Love it all the time. I like how the circle, like, brightens when I attack. Ouch! Stop doing ridiculous, absurd damage, please! Can we kill him here? Maybe? You fools. You did your best with the hand you were dealt. Haha, <laughs> card, card game joke. But the deck is always stacked in the f more card game jokes. Now stand back and witness how I, Gilgamesh, fulfill the destiny of this corrupted world. I don't know why, but in my head I imagined the behemoth as being a giant chicken. Is that wrong? Behold the behemoth! Is it bigger than last time? No matter, this world is only a few minutes away from deliverance. We will take our clash outside for everybody to see. And as I, once more, victoriously bestride this narrow world, the new dawn of the Age of Heroes will begin. Yo, get stomped on, child. Unwilling to play your part? Then let me remind you which one of us has the leading role in this performance. But I'm the true hero. I hold infinity in the palm of my... Get, get absolutely destroyed. Has fate forsaken me? The behemoth is getting away. Are you alright? I only wanted to show the world what true heroism is about. No you didn't, old friend. I wanted people to remember me. I remembered you. Hello, big scary monster disappearing into thin air? Not into thin air. The Necronomicog opened a rift in space. The behemoth is so much stronger than last time. I need to stop it. You can't even move. You're right, but you still stand. Healed! Follow the beast. Right. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Or in this case, a very quick and death blow that was quick and easy. Or the city! The beast will destroy the whole world if we don't stop it in time. Then let us move with haste. Oh. There it is. There it be. Here we go. Here we do. Alright. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay, alright. That's fine. I'm not hearing any music, but you know what I am going to do? So I'm going to turn the music up a bit. Just a bit. Okay, we're gonna blindside him and poison him. And then I'm just setting up for uh, the plague. Okay, not getting it, but we're gonna doom them as well. That should, that, that should actually do pretty well for us. Let's see, can we get... can we get the... no, we can't. Okay, well, we'll poison another one, that's fine. This will make the, uh... Pandem 
pandemic card, I, I can't remember the actual name of the card, work really well for us. We're not getting it, of course. But that's okay. We have enough to justify using virulence now. Look at that. Oh heck yeah, bud. Ah, uh, I see. So he's not gonna take any damage until we've destroyed the arms. It's one of those bosses. Gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. I understand. Epidemic, there it is. Alright, um... Siphon Mind. Okay, let's do, let's do Siphon Mind. And Mystic Gifts, and then we'll finish off here. We don't have the, uh, the cards we need, but that's fine. We're doing alright, I think. Oh, it resists. Oh, no. Does it get, like... Does it get a reaction every time? Okay, we've got our Epidemic card so we should be able to uh do well in the next couple of turns killing the arm now would have been really nice but you know can't can't always get what you want uh it's still poisoned and blind so all right let's let's spread this um and then oh that we don't have much in the way of Okay, well, what are we going to do here? Siphon. And... And then Virulence and... Or uh, Epidemic and Virulence. I can't afford doing the Raven Strike, unfortunately. So this will have to do. One thousand critical and two thousand extra damage. Kind of incredible. Okay, um, we need to generate some steam. It's still poisoned. I don't have to do poison. I'll, I'll keep a poison on me though. Uh, yeah, this is not great. We'll doom it, and then we'll make sure it's still poisoned. I guess. I'm sorry I couldn't do better than this. I'm assuming I have a finite number of turns before it uh, gets to, to regain its arms. I'm gonna need to heal the twins. Uh, it's not blind anymore, so I'll go ahead and do that. We're gonna generate a bit of um, steam, do a bit of damage. That's the counterattack status effect. Ah, uh, abyssal gate, huh? Are we changing? Change places. It teleported us to the college. We can't let all this knowledge go up in flames. Then let's stop the monster before that happens. I am assuming it has its arms back now. This will be a good move that generates quite a lot of uh, steam. I'm tempted to do the uh, the searing the other the other attack instead because it does more damage. Okay, now I can't heal. That's really bad. I also can't poison. And also, Copernica is poisoned. So, we're kind of three for three. I can blind him, though. This is not great, but it will do a nice chunk of damage. Nice! Triple miss! Okay, poison. 
Epidemic Siphon. I know I need to heal, but it, this is also really important. I just spread uh, blind and poison to all of the other arms. Okay, um, it is time to heal. Um, we could do virulence and then, oh no we can't, because I don't have anything else. Okay, let's see, can we generate some steam here? Sort of, not really. Uh, I'm gonna take a risk here, I'm sorry. That missed a lot. All right, um, now we need to generate some steam. Perfect. Siphon mind, and then we're gonna mend. Yeah, I mean, it. this isn't ideal. Nothing is in this situation, no. I just need to make sure they don't die. I'm gonna do this um, to generate some steam so I can try and heal the other ones. Okay, we're gonna poison epidemic and then mend the twins. Ouch. Okay, we need to we need to do another mend. Um, but I also just need to like do some damage. This should actually kill that guy, the the arm. Blinds are great. Good thing I heeded your advice, right? Uh, okay, we'll do blind. We'll do the raven strike. It's not ideal. I'd almost rather do a doom and heal. Oh, I, I guess I can't. Okay, we'll just have to make do with this. This should kill the arm. Yes. Okay, um, make sure it's poison, siphon mind, and then we're gonna heal. I'm not doing any combos right now because it's not really, like, I, I kind of have to manage multiple things at once. Oh, here we go, though. Um, well, I could heal everyone and also raise our, yeah, it's not great, but I'm going to raise our defense and also heal us a little bit. I think that was worth it. So the twins are now um, no no longer good to us. So we'll have to use Copernica. Copernica is still still good. I, that, that was really good damage there. I'm gonna have to heal Copernica. Um, can we? He's still poisoned, so we can do this, this, and then virulence. Should actually bring us to the next, the next uh, scene change. Oh, no scene change, but he recovered. Okay, and Copernicus dead. All right, we gotta use a thing. Um, and I, I don't like that I can't recover her and then also use moves in the same turn. That's kind of a bummer. So, I guess we'll do this. Um, and then we'll do Raven Strike. I know one of these is, um, weak to Arcane and then the other one is resistant to Arcane. Yeah, that, that, this one, the, the, the left arm is um, weak to arcane. 
which should mean that this one is has more magic to give. If I could poison and then also epidemic, that would be amazing. Might be better to actually do like a burning desire. We can like actually combo off here. This one should be weak to uh, arc to. I guess this is still arcane damage, is it not, or is it just fire damage? That's a lot of damage. Ancient animus. I don't know what that means. I need poison. I need poison, please. Well, that's not what we need. Uh, I'm gonna try and heal and then just blind the other one. This isn't great. This is not a good move, but I didn't really have a lot of options. So I can't recover this turn, so I may as well try and do as much damage as possible. Ooh, Copernica is almost dead. If I attack this one, I guess they both have counterattacks. So let's just um, focus on recovery for a moment. I mean, I, what, what's the point in buying them if I don't use them, right? I, ju I think I just saved uh, Galio's life. really all we can do. Look at all the misses! Oh my god! Okay, now we do a poison, but we need to generate some steam or else I can't do the epidemic. I need anything. Okay, perfect. Um, so then we'll do a poison. Is there anyone that's blind? No. And actually... Uh, okay, so actually we, what we should do is blindside because this one's already poisoned, so we'll do the epidemic and spread the poison. Miss! Can't believe this one's not dead. Um, so we should be able to do a virulence now. I just need to generate some steam for it. Perfect. I just uh, killed both hands at once, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what we can do here. Not a great set, but that's fine. Critical! Oh, we're changing scenes now. Heroic fields, I mean, the golf course. Those useless guild heroes have already scurried off. Come on, we can do it. One more try. Um, alright, so let's start with this one since we have a good Copernica set here. It's gonna hurt us, but that's always gonna be true. Hell's Takamak. Oh my god! Yo, everyone is like almost dead. Kinda wish I'd saved some recovery. Whew. Well, um, what are we what are we doing here? <laughs> I have no healing. Okay. Well, this is the kind of the best I can hope for. At least one of them is alive and I can revive the other ones. Yep.
This is actually not bad. That was clearly a move that was meant to party wipe, but it did not, not succeed. So I consider that a win. Now we need poison back. Okay. Um, where's poison? Ah, oh, there we go. Poison. I think Epidemic worked out really well for me. Um, we have a good, well, we have a good set here. Unfortunately, this one is resistant, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Oh, wait a minute. This one's open? I didn't realize that I was wasting time. I could have been just fighting the boss. So we can kill it, like, probably now. Let's have Copernica kill it. There we go. There we go! Nothing, nothing about it. It's easy peasy, honestly. Armilly. Am I alive? The behemoth, did we? All life has left its gargantuan body. Woot woot. And the Necronomicog? Dematerialized without a trace. That's convenient. Why didn't that happen the first time? Hey guys, I think I've put out all the fires. But I'm afraid the guild club can't be saved. Good riddance. We can always rebuild it, Psy. And turn it into something new where you don't need a membership. For the good of the many, I like that. I look forward to not knowing every single thing Big is doing wrong in the next deck builder. <clears throat> Alchemy College is, will also need a restoration plan, plus a new curriculum. Something more inclusive and accessible. I guess we too have some rebuilding to do. You mean back home? We obviously can't trust the druids to patch up the old orphanage. Well, after helping out with things here, I think I'll join you. Oh, that'd be great. Mom will be a bit emotional over me leaving again, but she'll get over it. Oh yes, I'm sure she'll manage somehow. Friends, I have to hate to interrupt, but before we take on these endeavors... We have a huge petrified monster that needs handling. Oh right, I'd almost forgotten about that. What do you mean? That's that's just uh, dinner for the next week. It really is a mess. Lol. Last time they just raised a fortress on top of it. I am sure that we can come up with something a bit more creative. And they all died. The end. The end. That's it, guys. We done it. We done did it. Haha, <laughs> you don't need a hero's handbook when you are a hero.
Pernica became a uh, teacher. Goodbye, Oikos. Oh, he, he uh, threw away the mask. He didn't need it anymore. They taught Gilgamesh golf. Nice. Oh, I see. They turned the behemoth into a, a, a golf course. That was a weird character that kind of had zero arc. It's done. I liked that ending. That was a good ending. The end. Okay. What time is it? We have an hour and a half before stream is over. Um, I don't want to shortchange feature segment. So there might be no third segment today. We're not starting... We're not starting... Uh, Library of Ruina this week. I'm sorry to say. But look at that. We finished Hand of Gilgamesh. That was fun. I'm healed from Gilgamesh's disease. What? Huh? Finally. I like the the, the ending song as well. It's nice. Pedro? We could do Pedro Land. Let's finish Pedro Land. We could knock out two games in one day. <gasps> New game plus! Oh, never mind. Here we go. New game plus. How do we do that? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Pedro? Pedro? 